just now for the 43rd renewal of a great, great series between Southern California and the University of Notre Dame. Cloudy, overcast, and dreary to begin. And the stands, let me tell you, in spite of the bad weather, are jammed. Another sellout here in South Bend. Southern Cal's record coming in, 2-4. and four. The Irish are 5 and nothing. In six games, Southern California has scored 17 touchdowns, but they have yielded 15. But remember, they have played Alabama, Oklahoma, and Stanford, all ranked along with Notre Dame in the top 10 teams in the country. Now we have Southern California and the Irish coming on the field for the start and the kickoff of today's game. Here now is the voice of Notre Dame football, the sports director of the Mutual Network, Van Patrick. Thank you, Bill Atherton. Hello again, everybody. Southern California dropping two men back. Number 26 dropping back there is Hinton. And number 44 dropping back is Moore. So Moore and Hinton are the deep men for Southern California. And kicking off for Notre Dame will be Smith to get this ball game underway. You can almost feel the electricity in the air here at South Bend this afternoon. As Notre Dame, boys, ready to go to kick off to Southern California. And here's the boot, that soccer-style kick. It's floating down here to Moore, and Moore is back to the 15, to the 20, 25, comes up to the 30, and brings that ball all the way up to the 33-yard line before he finally hauled down and making the tackle with Webb, a linebacker of Notre Dame. Also in on that tackle, number 81 was O'Malley, a 23-yard return. It will be first down and 10 to go now for Southern California. They're in operation from their own 33. Brown to center, Ryan and grabs the guards. Adams and Bella are the tackles. The quarterback is Jones. He's got Cunningham, Harris, and Sean in that backfield. They're in the I formation with two flankers. Jimmy Jones, who always gives Notre Dame a lot of problems. Now the give is to his fullback. Right straight up the middle. To the point in 41 goes Drew Harris of Sacramento, a 205-pound senior fullback, and he ripped through there to the 40, getting seven yards on the play. And the tackle was made by Ellis. Now coming in defensively is O'Malley. Coming out is Schlees. This is in that secondary. The ball is on the 40. It's second down and three to go for Southern California. Out wide to the left now. The flanker back, Garrison, is put out now wide to the left. And here's Jones on the give again to that running back. Harris running off right guard, and O'Malley makes a tackle on about the 43-yard line. He's going to be very close to a first down if he didn't get it. Schlees has come back in defensively. O'Malley, who made the tackle, is coming out for Notre Dame. They'll bring the chain gang out now for a measurement. And there's no question that Southern California is fired up for this ball game against Notre Dame today, as they usually are. This is the 43rd meeting. It's a first down for Southern California. You can hear from the roar across the field. They've got a lot of their rooters out here at this ball game today. First and 10 for the Trojans, coached by John McKay. They have the ball in great field position. They're on their own 43-yard line. They're back in the huddle again. Jim Jones, Cunningham, Harris, and Swan in that backfield. Wide to the left now is Garrison, who is the split in. He's from Compton, California. A flanker to the right side is Shaw. The I formation, and to give again. Here's to Harris. Harris tries to cut in the middle of the line, slips and falls, and the tackle is made secure by Greg Marks. And so that will make it second down coming up, and 11 yards to go as Harris went down on the 42-yard line. Checking in now is Bella. Chris Bella is coming in at the tight end, and Charlie Young is going out. Put out to the right is Swan, and Garrison is flanked to the left in the I formation. Top of that eye is Harris, the fullback. He goes in motion wide to the left, being covered by two Notre Dame men. Jones is going back to pass. He cocks his arm. He throws deep, and it is incomplete. Intended for Garrison out of the left back. He's a junior, 20 years old. Clarence Ellis was back there to cover, so that brings up the all-important third down now for Southern California. There's no question, uh, Bill, this ball club is fired up. Van, you're absolutely right, and that was reminiscent of the first quarter at Los Angeles last year when Jones just riddled the Irish secondary, and actually that time Garrison was all very, very open and right in front of Clarence Ellis. Matulski, Kadish, Marks, and Swenson up front. Third down, 11 yards to go from the Southern California, 42-yard line. Jones in the I formation with two flankers. Harrison motion to the left. Jones back to throw. He's going to run the option. He's hit. He's blocked on the 44-yard line. He cocked his arm, faked it. He was going to run right up the middle. He made a fine call on that. The only problem was he ran into Greg Marr. Greg Marr and Scotty were both in there to make the stop on the 44. That brings up the fourth down and nine yards to go. And Scotty goes back in the safety spot. And back in kick formation, 
goes Blue Bear, the kicker for Southern California. He's standing inside the 30-yard line, and Crotty is back now in the deep safety spot. And here's the boot, and he booms this one deep. Crotty goes all the way back to the 11. He comes back to the 15, goes to the 20, 25, goes to the 30. And is finally tackled. He almost broke it at the 32-yard line by Lou Harris, who stepped him up. That was a 45-yard kick on the part of Blue Bear. So now, Notre Dame takes over. First down and 10 to go from their own 32-yard line. And you can hear the roar now from this partisan crowd of South Bend, Indiana, as the Irish take over. They've been averaging oh, about 280 yards offensively, but they haven't had much of a scoring punch. 12 minutes, 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. There's no score, and Gatewood is flanked out wide to the right. We'll set up the offense for you first, and we'll get to the defense. They're in the wishbone. The quarterback is Brown. He's got the full backfield, and the pitch back is to Gallagher. Gallagher tries to cut, gets to the 36, and is dropped on the 36-yard line. Dropped on the 36. The tackle was made by Parker, the safety man. Notre Dame has Gatewood, Humphrey, Pomerico, Novikov, Conrick, Dampier, and Creedy up front. Brown is in the backfield along with Hop, Gallagher, and uh, coming out of there is Darrell Dewan. He's been replaced in there by Larry Parker. So it's Parker now in the backfield for Notre Dame. Ball is marked on the 34, second and eight. And the give now to the fullback, Huff, running up the middle. Gets to the 36-yard line and is sacked up there by McGurr. For Southern California, John Grant, Mike McGurr, George Follett, and uh, Stiles are up front. Paul, Anthony, and Carter are backing up the line. But Thomas, Bates, Parker, and Dyer in the secondary. The ball is resting on the 36-yard line. It's third down and six yards to go now for Notre Dame. Gatewood is deployed out wide to the right. Greeny, the tight end, is in on the right side. They're in the full wishbone backfield, and back goes Brown to throw. He gets time. He throws. It's incomplete. Gatewood had three Southern California coaches covering him on that play, Bill. They had, uh, he was throwing into a crowd of people. Thomas was there. Dyer was there. Fate was there. And even Parker came up from his safety position, so you can bet that Southern California is watching Mr. Tom Gatewood, Notre Dame's top receiver, with a great deal of intention today. Incidentally, Southern Cal has been giving a pretty good rush to that Notre Dame offense so far. Some big men up front. Doherty is back in kick formation. It's fourth down. And dropping back, Swan along with Hinton for Southern California. The perfect pass from center. Doherty gets it away. Sort of a floating kick is taken on the 31-yard line by Hinton, and he goes to the 35, he's to the 40, and is finally bumped out of bounds. That was a 33-yard kick with Hinton running it back. We'll wait till the officials move it in from the sidelines. We'll be around the neighborhood of the 40-yard line in Southern California. There's a timeout with a score. Notre Dame nothing, Southern California nothing. The privilege of sharing in the sponsorship of the Notre Dame football broadcasts is in keeping with the established policy of Home Savings Bank to provide the utmost service to the people of Albany and upstate New York. For nearly 100 years, we've been serving in many ways the people of Capital Area. The opening of our new office in Hoosick Falls brings to five offices in the area that we have made available to you. Two in Albany, one in Colony opposite Macy's, and one in Greenwich, New York. Use the office that is most convenient for the transaction of any type of business, such as savings deposits, mortgage and home repair loans, insurance policies and payments, traveler's checks and Christmas and vacation clubs. Home savings, like Notre Dame, is a favorite in the capital area, and we're happy to serve you. Home savings is a member of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Well, we've got a new quarterback in here for Southern California as the Trojans take over on their own 40. Mike Ray of Lakewood, California, 6'1", 186 pounds. Garrison and Swan are the flankers in the I formation. So Mike Ray is the quarterback. Jimmy Jones, who started, is out of there, and here's Ray back to throw. Looks, goes the home run ball, and look out. It is caught, but it is out of bounds. He dropped it as he went out of bounds, and he ran almost into the seats down there. That was Swan, the flanker. Sapaniak was back to cover. The foot race was on, but he just overthrew him. And I want to tell you, Mike Ray can really put that ball in the air. He threw it about 55 yards in the air. Van Swan has been one of the favorite Southern California receivers. He's picked off 11 for 150 yards, and each time he's caught that ball, he's had an average of 13.6. He hasn't scored yet, but he certainly has been an outstanding receiver for John McKay's team. He was, a, he was going fast and a heart stopper right there. 
Swan is flanked out to the left this time. Garrison deployed to the right. Here's a pitch back now to the running back, Harris. He tries to turn the corner, and he's knocked out of bounds. He tried to cut, and he slipped. Now, the field had been covered out here, but it's still a little slippery. And knocking him out of bounds over there was Eric Cotton of Notre Dame. Bisraka, Cotton, O'Malley, Ellis, Brody, Thorman, and Stepaniak. And now O'Malley checking back in. Young and Bella keep interchanging there for Southern California. Coming out of Schleser, so they got O'Malley, another linebacker in there for Notre Dame. It is third down coming up for the Trojans. And about 12 yards to go. Garrison and Swan are flanked out. Garrison deployed to the left side. Swan to the right side. They're in the pro set now with the two setbacks and out of the eye formation. And here's a flag. He might have taken too much time to get that play underway. So we'll have a delay in game. Ten minutes, 39 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter of Notre Dame. And there's no score between these two fine teams. And so it'll be a five-yard walk-off against Southern California for delay of the game. That's the first penalty of the ball game. Moving it back to the 33, the series of downs originated on the 40, so it all adds up to third down and 17 yards to go for the Trojans of Southern California, coached by John McKay. Matulski, Kadish, Marks, and Swenson, and this press box today is full of pro scouts. They really love this front four of Notre Dame. Wide the left is Swan. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Mike Ray, spelled R-A-E. Back he goes, tries to cut, swings out wide. Matulski has it for the jersey. Finally, they get out of bounds. Is the man who finally chased it out of bounds. Petulski had a hold of him, and he couldn't hold on to him. He uh, tried to make a cut and slipped, and then was in trouble. So the ball is back on the 30, which makes it fourth down, and 20 yards to go now. And so the kicker, Bullwear, is back in there now for Southern California. Mike Crotty goes back in the safety spot. The series originating on the 40. The ball is now on the 30, so it's fourth and 20. 10.25 to play in the first quarter. Bullwear standing back on the 15-yard line of Southern California. Gets a good pass from center. Gets his kick away. He's almost blocked, but he got it away. And he had the pressure on him, and so it's going to be a short kick. Went out of bounds on about the 46-yard line. And so Notre Dame, Bill, has great field position. There was a great rush put on that time, and especially by Rick Fullman, the right outside linebacker of Notre Dame, a 6'1", 230-pounder who came through there blitzing, and nobody bothered to pick him up, and he was just an inch or so away from getting a hand on that football. Fine effort by Rick Fullman. 25-yard kick, so Notre Dame first and 10 from their own 45, and here's Townsend in there, and blanked out wide to the right. Darrell Dewan is back in there, Andy Huff. Gallagher in that backfield, Cliff Brown on a give to Huff off left guard. He's at the 50, and Huff is on down to the 47 in Southern California territory. And Artemis Parker, Sacramento, made the tackle. He's a big boy, six foot four, 207 pounds, and he is only a sophomore. John McKay has some of the best talent every year in Southern California. The ball is on the 48 yard line. 47-yard line market of Southern California. Waiting for it now is Brown, and Brown on a give to Huff. He tried the same play, but this time it didn't work. He ran into John Grant of Boise, Idaho, the 6'5", 230-pound defensive left hand. Then there are a lot of plus 240-pounders in that Southern California defense up front and in the linebacking core. He has three seniors, five juniors, and three sophomores on that defensive team we're watching on the field right now. We have no score with nine minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the first quarter here in a cloudy, overcast South Bend, Indiana. Dan? Third down, a little better than a yard to go for Notre Dame. Townsend out wide to the right. Waiting for it is Brown. He gives it off to Huff, and Huff has got the yard. He gets down to the 44, possibly to the 43-yard line. He got the yard, all right. First down for Notre Dame. Mark it on the 44-yard line. Tackle made by Charlie Anthony along with uh, Hall, the linebacker. So mark the ball on the 44-yard line. Coming out is Larry Parker. Darrell Dewan goes back in there. Ball on the 44-yard line of Southern California. First and 10 now for Notre Dame with nine minutes of playing time remaining. In the first quarter of this ball game, and there's no score. Out wide to the right is Townsend. Michigan leading Minnesota 7-0 in the annual battle for the Little Brown Jug. Illinois ahead of Northwestern 3-0. Give to Gallagher on a reverse. And Gallagher cuts in at the 41. He was following his blocker over there, Kondrick. And he got it to the 41, picking up three on the play. And the tackle was made by Bob Erickson, who's backing up the line on the left side. So mark the ball on the 41-yard line, make it second down, seven yards to go. Coming out of there now is Darrell Dewan. 
And we're getting two tight ends in here. Let's see uh, what the situation is. Check that. Nope. They're coming in with Drew at center. Dave Drew is coming in at center. Replacing Novikov for Notre Dame. Townsend is flanked out wide to the right in the wishbone formation. Southern California almost in the six-man defensive line. Brown back to throw. Gets time. Throws deep to Townsend. He right through his hands at the goal line. He was covered by two men. Thomas and Dyer had him covered. The ball was thrown perfectly. It just hit Townsend in a bad spot. Well, last week we saw Cliff Brown overthrow, throw wide, but that one was right on the money, but he had three people with him. Very finely defended by Southern California. Incidentally, they are working on Dan Novikov, the Irish center van on the sidelines. He apparently has a bruised knee. Gene Paskett, the Notre Dame trainer, along with Dr. George Green, are over there. Uh, that is the reason Drew is out on the field at present time. We haven't seen too much of him before this year. Third down and seven. I mentioned Illinois. It was Indiana, Northwestern, trailing 3 nothing to Indiana. Townsend out wide to the right. Brown rolling back, throwing, and he's completing it out here to Dewan at the 40. He's at the 35. Dewan is at the 30. Dewan is down to the 28 yard line. It's a first down for Notre Dame, and the Irish are beginning to move. The tackle was made by Artemis Tucker, the safety man of Southern California. So mark that ball on the 28 yard line of Southern California. Larry Parker checking back in the backfield. That's a second first down. Seven minutes and 50 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. Dewan is out. Parker's back in, and Cliff Brown moving his ball club well. He's from Middletown, Pennsylvania. Creedy, the tight end, is split out to the left side. Townsend is flanked to the right side in the wishbone formation. 4-4 defense employed by Southern California. The pitch is back there to Gallagher. He's at the 30, tries to turn the corner, does. Goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line, but there is a flag on the play. With seven and a half minutes of drag time remaining, the flag goes down. Tripping against Notre Dame. Parker might have been a guilty party. Larry Parker was trying to get his body in front, and he just couldn't squeeze enough in front to get the block fully and cleanly done. And that's the reason for the flag on the far side of the field at the 29-yard line. Incidentally, we're seeing some outstanding blocking on the right side of the Notre Dame offensive line from John Kondrick, a junior, 6'5 and 265, and Dampier, a junior, 6'4 and 240. And it's also interesting that Southern California band is using much the same defense that North Carolina did, almost an eight-man front, just daring the Irish to throw. The ball is on the 42-yard line now. It'll be first down, about 23 yards to go. Brown calling the signals. Brown takes it, goes back to throw again, got some protection, throws one deep, and this one is intercepted by Southern California's Dyer. He's back to the 30, goes to the 35, gets the block, he's at the 40. He breaks another tackle, steps in at the 45, he's at the 50. He's finally broke down on the 48-yard line. Bruce Dyer intercepted the ball for Southern California and brought it back to the 48-yard line, a 32-yard return. And the Southern California Trojans are in business on the Notre Dame. 48-yard line. Brown had the time to throw, but that's secondary, dropping back and doing a fine job of pass coverage. And so the defensive unit of Notre Dame back in the ball game as the Trojans break out of the huddle. They have Brown at center, Ryan and Graff at the guard, Bella and Adams at the tackles. Two flankers in the eye formation. And the quarterback is Jimmy Jones back in there now. And Jones going back to throw, stays in the pocket. The pressure's on him. He throws it. It is incomplete. Away, he calls it complete. He calls it complete at the 35-yard line. It looked like he might have trapped the ball, but it is called complete to Young. Charlie Young at the 35-yard line. Eric Patton was the man over there covering. So it'll be a first down. First and 10 to go. And Charlie. In California, they have the ball on the 35-yard line. Flanked out wide to the right side is Garrison. Swan is deployed to the left, and Jones asking for time now. Comes back to talk to the official. And so, wait a minute now. Let's see what the official's going to call it a timeout. So there's a timeout on the field with a score, Notre Dame, nothing, Southern California. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. He's going to start play immediately right here. So, mark the ball on the 35-yard line. First down and 10 to go for Southern California. The official called the timeout and put it right back into play. Garrison is flanked out to the right side. Swan is deployed to the left side of this high formation. Signals are being called by Jimmy Jones, and Jones now on a give to his big fullback, running off right guard down to the 31-yard line. That's Sam Cunningham of Santa Barbara, 6'3", 212-pound junior. He moved to the 31. He got four yards on the play. Tackle was made in there by Kadish. Kadish, incidentally, has made 53 tackles this year. That was number 53. The ball on the 31-yard line. It will be second down, six yards to go. 
Garrison flanked to the right side. Swan is deployed to the left. They're in the pro set now with Harris and Cunningham, the running backs, and Jones is back to throw. He slips, knocks his arm, and throws this one deep, and it is caught for a touchdown by Southern California. And the defensive back of Notre Dame, the All-American Clarence Ellis, slips as he tried to cover on the play. Garrison, who caught that, has scored three other times this year. That's his fourth touchdown of the season. He ran a down-and-out pattern, and he was a step or two behind Ellis. Beautiful reception and a fine recovery on that throw by Jones as his play was right on the money, right in the hands of Garrison. Garrison was covered all right with Ellis, but he seemingly slipped. Now we'll have the try for a point, and kicking will be Ray. The ball is spotted. Jones holding. The kick is up. The kick is good. So the clock has stopped on the field. We'll be back now with a Notre Dame kickoff. The score, Southern California 7, Notre Dame nothing. We'll be back with a kickoff at Jerry Moore. Sale of famous GE televisions, stereos, refrigerators, ranges, washers, dryers, and dishwashers. All merchandise is fully warranted with free local delivery on larger items. Use your master charge or the convenient budget plan. Buy GE at Fernapco or Interstate Avenue Colony. Open Monday, Thursday, and Friday nights till 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 10 to 5. Fernapco. Remember, there's no lower price anywhere than at Fernapco. along with Greg Hill. Notre Dame on the short end of a 7-0 score, and here's the boot. High end over end kick. Coming down to Dominic on the 1. He's back to the 5. He goes to the 10, the 15, goes to the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, the 30, the 35, the 40, the 35, the 40. He's climbing up out of that. Over 30, 4 yards by Willie Hall. And Notre Dame comes right back. Beautiful, beautiful run, and Gary Dominic was almost off to the races. He had only one man who could and he just barely nicked him out of bounds. And the Irish with an electrifying return by Gary Dimmick of 65 yards. And rapidly coming back after Southern California had scored. 534 remaining, first quarter. Southern Cal leading 7-0 and Notre Dame on the move. First and 10 now for Notre Dame with the ball on the 34-yard line. Willie Townsend flanked out wide to the right side. The wishbone formation with Cliff Brown calling the signals. And Brown on a give now to Darrell Dewan. That's at the 30. He's at the 28. He's hauled out on the 28 by Artemis Parker, the safety man, along with the linebacker of Southern California. And so mark the ball on the 28-yard line. And Larry Parker is coming in. And Darrell Dewan is coming out. Five minutes, 15 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter with a score. Seven to nothing in favor of Southern California. Willie Townsend is flanked out wide to the right side. The full house, the wishbone. Brown calling the signals for Notre Dame. Brown on the give now to his running back Gallagher. He's at the 25-yard line. It's hauled down there by Charlie Anthony, the middle backer of Southern California. It'll be second down and just about a yard to go now for Notre Dame. Darrell Dewan coming back in the backfield. Eric Parsegan calls part of these plays. He interchanges the backs. Parker's coming out. Ball on the 25. Third down, one to go. The Irish trailing 7-0. Incidentally, Van Gary Dimmick, who ran that back 65 yards three times before this year, has totaled 69. So on that one, he almost equaled his three times output. Now, here they're in a straight T formation. And the give is to Huff, and Huff is down to the 21. Got a first down, and Bob Erickson made the tackle for Southern California. 
And that's three first downs. The ball is on the 21. On that touchdown drive a moment ago, the Southern California Trojans went 48 yards of three plays. And here's John Kostowski replacing Andy Huff in the backfield of fullback. Huff gets a nice hand as he comes out. Four minutes, ten seconds to go in the first quarter. With the ball on the 21-yard line of Southern California, first down and ten to go. Townsend is out. Wide to the right. Waiting for it now is Brown. He's the only flanker, Willie Townsend. The give is fakes to Tchaikovsky. The keeper play running off left guard is Brown. He got two. And is brought down by McGurr, Mike McGurr, the defensive tackle on the 28, on the 18-yard line. A gain of three. It will be second down and seven yards to go. Parker's coming back in again with the ball on the 18-yard line. And Daryl Dewan is coming out. Now, that's a change. In the backfield, as Eric Parsegan, as I mentioned, continues to call some of the plays for his young sophomore quarterback, Cliff Brown. Out of the huddle they come. Creeney's on the left side. He's in tight. Wide to the right side is Willie Townsend. Gatewood is not in there. It's the wishbone now, the full house, with Brown calling the signals. Brown on the draw play, and it's given off to Parker. He's down to the 10. He's down to the 5. He is down to the 4. down and goal to go on the four-yard line. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the mutual broadcasting system. Providing Royal Globe Insurance in this area is J. Edward Poole and Company. This is WQBK, Rensselaer at 1300. Our entire mutual crew, the ball is in about the three-and-a-half-yard line after Parker's 14-yard carry. It's the T formation with one flanker. And Brown on a give to Chiskowski, and he's down to the one. He is hauled down on the one-yard line by the Southern California Trojans. And making the tackle that time is Parker, along with Erickson, the linebacker. It'll be second down and goal to go. Coming back in is Andy Huff. Chiskowski comes out. Notre Dame trailing 7-0, but Notre Dame is down on the one-yard line with two and a half minutes of playing time remaining in the first quarter at South Bend, Indiana. Out of the huddle, they come and over the ball. Goes Novikov, who's back in there at center. Willie Thompson is flanked out to the right. They're in the straight T formation. Waiting for it is Cliff Brown. And Brown on a give now to Hoff. Touchdown, what a day. Blocking over on the left side from Humbert and Pomerico and Creedy, and they just barreled him right into the end zone, and Notre Dame now will try to tie it up. In there for Notre Dame, on the kick will be Thomas holding the ball. Doherty, the kick is up, and the kick is good. The score is Notre Dame 7, Southern California 7. We'll be back with the Notre Dame kickoff in just a moment. The Latham Bowl, your bowling center in Latham, is just about always open. Are you having a party? Why not have it at the Latham Bowl? The Latham Bowl has open bowling parties, office parties, children's birthday parties, and can arrange for any special party. The Latham Bowl also has complete banquet facilities. The Bowling Green in East Greenbush has complete banquet facilities, too, to cater to your every party need with open bowling parties, children's birthday parties, office parties, and can also arrange for any special party. That's the Bowling Green. It's almost always open in East Greenbush. Patrick, along with Bill Atherton, we'd like to uh, add our congratulations to WHEM-FM in Toledo, Ohio, carrying the Notre Dame games. And Mr. Jim Garrity, who's a great uh, Notre Dame follower and alumnus, just brought the broadcast himself so the folks down in that area can be sure and hear the Notre Dame games. So now we'll go. And the Irish went 34 yards in seven plays after the kickoff returned by Gary Dimitic. All ready to go and kicking off will be Smith. They're dropping Hinton back now for Southern California and dropping back with him is Moore. Here's the boot down to Hinton. He takes it in the end zone. He's back to the 5. Goes back to the 10. 15. 20. 25. He's in the clear at the 30. The 35. The 40. He's at the 45. He is at the 40. He is at the 35 yard line before he is finally brought down. That's a brilliant run back to Southern California. 66 yards. 
Clarence Ellis last week against North Carolina averted a touchdown as they hand fought the blockers away on a razzle-dazzle play instituted just for Notre Dame. And Mr. Ellis, an All-American candidate that time, was the only man who saved the touchdown by Southern California. Kenton on a great run back. So Southern California comes right back undaunted. Swan is out wide to the left. Garrison is flanked out to the right. This high formation, first and ten for Southern California. A touchdown scored to the Trojans, the first run in quite a while against Notre Dame. Here's Ray and their quarterback back to throw. Throws one to the end zone, and it is incomplete. Incomplete. Crotty was back there to cover on the play, but he just threw it over the head of Swan in the end zone. He's from Foster City, California, and I want to tell you that Mike Ray can really put that ball in the air. Ooh, he can throw it. On the 35-yard line of Notre Dame, it's second down and 10 to go for Southern California with one minute and 51 seconds of playing time remaining. And Bill Holland has replaced Sam Cunningham in the backfield for Southern California. Mike Ray now running the Southern California machine from the 35-yard line. They send Garrison out wide the left. Swan is deployed to the right side in the I formation. That front four of Notre Dame. They're in a 4-4. And here is the give now to the running back who just went in there. Oh, it's Harris. Lou Harris on the carry. He's at the 30. And he is down to the 29-yard line. A gain of six yards on the play before he is finally hauled down. Berserker made the tackle for Notre Dame. Mark it on the 29-yard line. It'll be third down and four yards. Berserker made the tackle. Cunningham is coming back in. And Harris is going out. So mark it on the 29. Make it third down and four yards to go for the Trojans who break out of the huddle. They send Garrison wide to the left side. And split off to the right side is Swan. They're in the eye formation with Cunningham at the top of the eye. Mike Ray's the quarterback, and it's Cunningham hurtling over the middle. He's at the 25, and he is down to possibly the 24. O'Malley made the tackle for Notre Dame, along with Tolman. So mark that ball on the 24-yard line and make it first down and 10 to go for the Trojans of Southern California. And Cunningham, Sam, a fullback, 6'3", 212, a junior from Santa Barbara, California, is their leading rusher with five yards per carry. And that's time demonstrated exactly why he is one of the fine backs in the country. Lots of power and excellent body balance. Cunningham back in there now. Got two flankers again. Uh, flank to the left is Garrison. Here is the fake to the fullback. Back to throw his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Southern California. Completed to Edgar Garrison. A touchdown for Southern California. From the 24-yard line, a touchdown pass with 42 seconds to go in the first quarter. They moved 34 yards in four plays after a brilliant run back of the kickoff by Hinton. And the Trojans came in here really fired up for this one today. Well, we've got number 30 out there for Southern California, and there's no number 30 on the roster. That's almost like a car running in the parking lot with the doors closed. Always happens. They'll have the try by Ray. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So the score is Southern California 14, Notre Dame 7. We'll be back with Southern Cal's kickoff in just a moment. Hurry to Fernapco's carload sale of famous GE television, stereos, refrigerators, ranges, washers, dryers, and dishwashers. All merchandise is fully warranted with free local delivery on larger items. Use your master charge or the convenient budget plan. Buy GE at Fernapco, 4 Interstate Avenue, Colony. Open Monday, Thursday, and Friday nights till 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 10 to 5. Fernapco, remember, there's no lower price anywhere than at Fernapco. Over Notre Dame with just 42 seconds remaining in the first period of a dynamite laden first quarter of play. Dominic is deep along with Greg Hill. Hall will kick off. Willie Hall will kick off for Southern California. Let's see if the Irish can come right back now. It's 14 to 7. Southern California leading Notre Dame. Waiting now for the referee's whistle to get this one underway. We only have 42 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. We've had an explosive first quarter. The ball is bouncing around. Fumbled by Greg Hill, who falls on the ball in the end zone. It's a touchback. Whoa, you can't let it roll around after you touch it. Somebody else will fall on it. And Greg Hill finally down to the end zone. So Notre Dame will take over. First down and 10 to go from their own 20-yard line. Nice wire here from... Uh, 
Elkhart, Indiana, said we'd appreciate greeting mutual station WJJL in Niagara Falls, New York, where the game is being aired to thousands of Irish fans. J.F. Gill, class of 1933. So we're very happy to hear from you. We appreciate many of the wires, all of them, as they come in here from all over the country. Willie Townsend is flanked out wide to the right. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Brown, and Brown takes it, and he hands it off to Darrell Dewan. Dewan tries the middle, gets about two yards, and that is it. The tackle is made in there by Papadakis, Don Papadakis, number 67, from Roland Hills, California. That sounds romantic, doesn't it? Man, we're seeing a lot of big number 74. Mike McGurr, a junior, 6'5", and 285 pounds, one of the outstanding defensive players in the country. And he's a middleman in that defense, and he's been very, very hard so far for the Irish centers to get out of there. Two yards gained. It'll be second down and eight to go. Willie Townsend flanked to the right. Off to the left side is Parker, and here's Brown on the option. Pitches it back to Gallagher, and he's going to be trapped for a loss. Oh, they had that one scouted pretty good, didn't they? Skip Thomas and Papadakis are the two men who made the tackle in there for the Southern California Trojans. And there's the gun. That's the end of the first quarter with a score. Southern California 14, Notre Dame 7. Home Savings Bank, like Notre Dame, is a favorite in the capital. And we're happy to serve you. For nearly 100 years, we've been serving in many ways the people of capital area. It's a small wonder that we have become a household word. So much that when you think of savings, of home mortgages, and home improvements, you automatically think of Home Savings Bank. The opening of our new office in Hoosick Falls brings to five offices in the area that we have made available to you. Two in Albany, one in Colony opposite Macy's, and one in Greenwich. Use the office that is most convenient for the transaction of any type of business such as savings deposits, mortgage and home repair loans, insurance policies and payments, traveler's checks, and Christmas and vacation loans. Home Savings is a member of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Matt Patrick along with Bill Etherton from Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. The Irish for the third and 11. Queenies wide to the left side. The wishbone formation. Townsend is split to the right side. And Brown is back to throw. And he dumps one out in the right flat to Gallagher. That's incomplete. He led him just a little bit too much. They were trying to set up a screen over the right side. And I want to tell you, John Bright, uh, Grant, and Styles putting the pressure on. And it will bring up a fourth down, the 11 situation. And so Notre Dame will have to kick from deep in their own territory, which will give Southern California great field position. They have uh, Swan going back now, along with him. They are the deep men. Brian Darty is back to kick for Notre Dame. Southern California leading 14 to 7 as we start play in the second quarter. And here's the kick. Uh, not particularly long. It's going to roll around, around the 45, and it's finally halted there by Willie Townsend on the 46-yard line of Notre Dame. A short kick of only 29 yards. And that means that the Southern California Trojans have great field position. They have the ball. First down and 10 to go on the Notre Dame 46-yard line, and they lead in this ball game 14-7 to as we start play in the second quarter. Nice to have you with us today, and I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying the ball game from Notre Dame. Wide to the right is Swan. Garrison is deployed to the left. The I formation. And the quarterback now is Jimmy Jones. And Jones on the give to his running back who tries to cut. Lou Harris, the fullback, slips falls on the 46. No gain on the play. The Zerka was in there, but when he made the cut, he slipped and fell at the 46-yard line. Potolsky, Kadish, Marks, and Swenson up front. Berserker, Patton, and O'Malley backing up the line. And Tolman with Ellis, Crotty, and Stepaniak in the secondary. Then it drizzled all day yesterday. It rained heavily this morning and drizzled. And the field was covered, of course. But right now, it's being torn up by the action on the play. And you'll find a lot of slipping from here on in. Swan and Erickson are the flankers, or Garrison now. Flanked out wide to the left. Here's Jones back to throw. Gets the time and throws one deep out there. And it is caught.
And I can hardly remember a Notre Dame football game with anybody in which we've had three quarterbacks who have thrown the ball as far as soon as Ray Jones and Cliff Brown. And that was a magnificent pitch of 42 yards and a great and almost incredible catch by Garrison right out of the arms of Clarence Ellis, an All-American in his own right. Thank you. All right, Southern California out of the huddle. First down and goal to go on the four-yard line. They have five first downs, and the give is to Cunningham, who dives down to the two, and he's belted right at the two-yard line. But those gave him first, and then he just made a dive over that line trying to get in there, and Crotty coming up from the secondary hauled him down on the two. It's second down and goal to go. Southern California leading Notre Dame 14-7, to seven, and I want to tell you, they're right down on the two-yard line knocking on the door again. It is second down and goal to go. Juan is deployed out to the right side, and here's the give again to Cunningham, and Cunningham dives down to the goal line, but I don't believe he got over. They stocked him up again. Rather than try to go through, he is going over, just making a swan dive, and he stopped on the one, just shy of that goal line. In the bottom of the pile, there's O'Malley. To mark the ball on the one-yard line, make a third down and goal to go. A battle in the trenches is something to see that time. Cunningham came over John Bella, whose brother Chris is a member of the team, and they both went to Notre Dame High School in Van Nuys, California. Third down, Cunningham scores! Touchdown! Southern California, he dives over the middle. And so now the Trojans have moved out in front of Notre Dame, 20-7 here at South Bend, with 12 minutes and 48 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. After that four kick by Doherty, they went 46 yards in five plays. Marianne is in there, the linebacker spot for Notre Dame. Ray will kick, the kick is up, the kick is good. And the score is Southern California 21, Notre Dame 7. We'll be back with the Southern California kickoff in just a moment. The privilege of sharing in the sponsorship of the Notre Dame football broadcast is in keeping with the established policy of Home Savings Bank to provide the utmost service to the people of Albany and upstate New York. For nearly 100 years, we have been serving in many ways the people of the capital area. It's small wonder that we've become a household word, so much so that when you think of savings of home mortgages and home improvements, you automatically think of Home Savings Bank. The opening of our new office in Hoosick Falls brings to five offices in the area that we've made available to you. Two in Albany, one in Colony opposite Macy's, and one in Greenwich, New York. Use the office that is most convenient for the transaction of any type of business, such as savings deposits, mortgage and home repair loans, insurance policies and payments, travelers' checks, and Christmas and vacation clubs. Just remember that nobody pays more for your deposits than Home Savings Bank. Home Savings is a member of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Oh, we'll kick off for Southern California again. Greg Hill is deep, along with Dominic Garrison, has caught three passes today for 97 yards, and in passing, the University of Southern California, four out of seven for 110, and two touchdowns. Waiting now for the referee's whistle, and here we go. And here's the boot now by Hall. And this one is a low end over end, taken in the end zone, and taken in there by Dominic, who elects not to run it out. So it'll be down on the 20-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame from their own 20-yard line. So he elected with good coverage there on the kick not to run it out. So the Fighting Irish down 21-7 to here in the second quarter. Uh, this will give Coach Aaron Farsine and his coaching staff and his ball club a real test today as they're down by two touchdowns. Cliff Brown is the quarterback, and he goes back in the huddle. Southern California with that fine defensive unit of Grant, McGurr, and Paulette and Skiles up front. Townsend is spit out to the left side. Gatewood is not in there. It's the wishbone formation. Brown waiting for it. And Brown on a pitch back now to Darrell Dewan, following his blockers, and Dewan gets to the 24-yard line. He's brought down by John Grant, the big defensive left end of Southern California. 12 minutes and 30 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. And the ball resting on the 24-yard line of Notre Dame, and Larry Parker is coming back into the backfield for the Irish. That big front four out there of Southern California, they're just about as big as the Notre Dame front four. That's quite a battle of the trenches we're seeing, Van, and I, I am struck by the startling similarity of the beginning of the game last year and the start of today's game. Greedy is blanked out wide to the left, and the weather conditions are almost the same, but not quite. Greedy wide to the left, Townsend to the right. 
Waiting for it is Brown, and Brown on the fake now. Keeping the ball, picks up a block, but he's caught from behind on the 23-yard line. He fumbled the ball. I believe the whistle is blown. He fumbled the ball, but the whistle is blown. He was caught from behind by fate. And so Notre Dame retains possession on the 23-yard line. And that will make it third down and seven yards to go. And a big third down coming up right now for the Fighting Irish. Darrell DeWan comes in and Parker goes out. Third and seven, 11.40 to play in the first half. 21 to seven, Southern California leading. Townsend is flanked to the left side. And Gallagher is deployed out to the right side. They're in a double wing formation. The one setback is Andy Huff. And Brown is back to throw. And Brown looks, throws, and this one is caught. On the 37-yard line by Willie Townsend on a comeback pattern. The tackle is made by Parker. But he hauled it in at the 37, and that's five first downs for Notre Dame. Willie Townsend made that fine reception while falling. He is a junior from Hamilton, Ohio. He's 190 pounds, 6'3". He has a brother who is a sophomore. And Willie is famous as he first came here, and since that time, as a freshman, for a great pair of hands. They are large, and they are very good. Thank you. Townsend out wide to the right side. Parker is split to the left side. Queenie, the tight end on the left side. Waiting for it now is quarterback Brown, and Brown throws a swing pass to Townsend. Townsend picks up a block. He's at the 40, the 45. Townsend goes back to the 48-yard line. And Fate made the tackle. They set up a screen. They sent him out on the right flat, hit him out there, and then brought him back to the inside and set up the screen. And so the ball is marked on the 48-yard line where it is first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame from their own 48-yard line. That's six first downs. Darrell Dewan is flanked to the left side. Willie Townsend goes to the right side. That staggered eye formation with Gallagher in the top part of it. Brown throws over the middle to Creedy. He couldn't hold it. He had it in his hands and couldn't hold the ball right over the middle, Bill. Creedy, who was one of the most effective men at pass receiving, had that ball. He took a step and he couldn't hold on to it. Creedy, who is yet to score this year, has an average on pass receptions of better than 10 yards, and he is widely recognized as one of the outstanding blocking tight ends in the country in collegiate football. Ball on the 48-yard line, where it'll be second down and 10 to go. Brown hit Creeney all right. He had the play set up beautifully. He's back to throw again, throws this one out here that is intercepted at the 49-yard line. It's intercepted by Dyer. He's at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 10, the 15. Anybody wanted to miss the replay of last year except everybody in California. The rain is here, and now Southern California has jumped off to a big lead, and that is certainly reminiscent of last year in the first quarter when Joe Feisman hung a pass in the flap. It was intercepted, and the Southern California back went in to score, and all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, it is Southern California 27, Notre Dame 7, 10 18 left in the second quarter. Here's the kick by Ray. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And the score is Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7. We'll be back with the Southern California kickoff in just a moment. Hurry to Fernapco's carload sale of famous GE television, stereos, refrigerators, ranges, washers, dryers, and dishwashers. All merchandise is fully warranted with free local delivery on larger items. Use your master charge or the convenient budget plan. Buy GE at Fernapco or Interstate Avenue Colony. Open Monday, Thursday, and Friday nights till 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 10 to 5. Fernapco. Remember, there's no lower price anywhere than at Fernapco. Fifty-one yards on that uh, run back of the pass interception there. And so the Southern California Trojans are out in front 28 to 7 over Notre Dame in an almost unbelievable score with 10 minutes and 18 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half of this ball game. We have a wire here from Spokane in Washington. Present today at the Notre Dame Stadium is Mrs. Hortense Minnix of Spokane. It's Mrs. Minnick's first visit to Notre Dame and the first opportunity this mother has ever had to see her son play in the football game. A Notre Dame enthusiast out in Spokane, Washington, made it all possible. And the game is being carried at KEZE in Spokane. Tom Lally, Jr., Spokane, Washington. Thank you very much. And here's the boot. 
high end over end kick. Coming down here to Greg Hill at the goal line. He's back to the 5, goes to the 10, 15, comes up to the 20, goes to the 25, up to the 27, and dropped on the 27-yard line after a run back of 27 yards. I'd like to tell Mr. Lally, though, that I have never in my entire life, I don't believe I've mispronounced The ball is on the 27-yard line, and it is now first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. They're trailing by 21 points in the first half of this ball game. And Townsend is out wide to the left. Waiting for it now is Brown. In that wishbone formation. And Brown on a give now to Dell Dewan. He's at the 33-yard line and brought down there. And the tackle was made on the 33-yard line. by Papadakis was in there at a linebacker spot. So mark the ball on the 33-yard line. It will be second down at about four. Parker checking into the backfield for Notre Dame and Darrell Dewan comes out. Next week, Notre Dame will meet the Navy right here at South Bend. The Naval Academy, wide to the left, is Townsend. Here's the wishbone formation again. They're doing a little stunning on defense. They have almost a seven-man defensive line up there for Southern California. And here's the give to Gallagher. Gallagher rips right up the middle, gets to the 40-yard line. And it'll be a first down for Notre Dame. The tackle was made by Mike McGurr. And so Notre Dame down by 21 points. They're battling right back here. And Olmstead is checking into the backfield. And Papadakis goes out. That's defensively for Southern California. Mark the ball on the 39, where the official placed it down. His knee at the ground. Townsend is wide to the left side. The wishbone formation again. Brown calling the signals from the 39. And the give is to Gallagher. Cracks over right guard. Gets to about the 43. And the tackle is made right there. He was hit first by Mike McGurr of Walnut, California. And it's amazing uh, to see a duplication of what North Carolina did last week, and that is jam up the middle and bear the Irish to run. Uh, let them pass if they want to, but make it the hard way, and that's what Notre Dame has been trying to do against a seven-man front and an eight-man front, which has been stunning repeatedly. And the Irish runners of Huff and Chuskowski, who just came in a moment ago, and Gallagher and Dewan have their work cut out for them. Hounds it out wide to the left. Chiskowski in the backfield replacing Huff. Brown waiting for it. He's got a second down. Brown going to give to Parker. Parker is at the 50. Parker's on his feet. He's still going at the 45-yard line before he's brought down. And Artemis Parker is the man who made the tackle. He's from Sacramento, California. And the ball is on the 45-yard line of Southern California. That's eight first down. And Parker's coming out, getting a nice hand as he does. That ball on the 45-yard line of Southern California. The clock shows 8 minutes, 25 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. The Trojans lead Notre Dame by 21 points. It is 28 to 7. Townsend wide to the left. They're in the wishbone formation. Waiting for it now is Brown, and Brown on the keeper pitches it back to Dell Dewan, who turns the corner and is bumped out of bounds around the 43 by Bob Erickson. The linebacker from Fresno, California, 6'2", 210, 21-year-old senior. And so mark the ball on the 43-yard line of Southern California. Again on the play of a couple. It'll be second down and eight. Jaskowski comes out. Andy Huff is back in. The clock is moving. 8-11 to go. Ball resting on the 43-yard line of Southern California. Out of the huddle they come. And over the ball is Novikov. Kondrick and Pomerico are the guards. Humbert and Dampier are the tackles. And Creedy is flanked out wide to the left. Townsend is put out to the right side. Since the opening plays... Gatewood has not been in there. Huff with the ball to the 40, right up the middle. He got a couple of yards and brought down on the 40-yard line and making the tackle number 74, Mike McGurr, 6'5", and Bob Erickson. And these two boys, uh, Erickson is from Fresno and McGurr is from Walnut, California. And Parker is back in again. The ball is on the 40. It's third down and about five yards to go. The series originating on the 45-yard line of Southern California. So it's the obvious pass situation, but let's see if Brown puts it in the air. They had the full wishbone. Townsend flanked out to the left as the only flanker, and Brown is giving it off to Parker. Parker cuts and slips at the 40-yard line. And Thomas made the tackle. He tried to make his cut, but slipped and went down on the 40, so it'll be fourth down and five to go now for Notre Dame. And let's see what the Irish are going to do. I don't believe they're going to kick it. I believe they're going to go with it, Bill, with a fourth and five situation. It certainly would seem so with a score of 28-7 to 7, Southern California. Parker was just a step away as Brown sent everybody to the left side to the open field and brought him back to the closed side. And it, he was just stopped by a fine defensive play by Thomas. Fourth down and five yards to go. Notre Dame will go for it. And Brown is back to throw. Throws a sideline one to Creedy. And he's out of bounds. 
So it'll be incomplete. He caught it, but out of bounds. Thomas was over to cover. And so that means that they will take over. Southern California will take over on their own 40-yard line with a first down and 10 to go. Six minutes and 57 seconds of playing time remaining here in the first half of this ball game in Southern California, leading by a score of 28 to 7. Southern California back in the huddle. Let's check the quarterback as they come out of it. They've been alternating with Ray and Jones, and now Mike Ray is the quarterback. They send Garrison, who's had quite a day out here. Or here is the give to the running back, Harris, and Harris off left tackle is at the 45. He's at the 50. He's in the Notre Dame territory. He is finally chased out of bounds. They're going to mark it out of bounds on about the 48-yard line, and Mike Crotty is the man who ran him out of bounds on the 48-yard line. Well, and that is a first down, a 12-yard pickup. 12 yards picked up on the play. And Holland is coming into the backfield, replacing Harris. Placed the ball on the 48-yard line of Notre Dame, and that's six first downs for the Trojans. And they send uh, Garrison out wide to the right. Swan is deployed to the left. They're in the eye formation. Waiting for it is Ray, and Ray on a give to that big running back, Cunningham, at the 40. He's down to the 39. And Crotty made the tackle, but I want to tell you, they're opening up some holes over there, Bill. The Irish defense, which had been tested repeatedly this year and found not wanting, is finding a big challenge here this afternoon as Cunningham and Harris are bombing right up the middle behind some outstanding blocking by John Villa, Graff, Brown, and Ryan. And, of course, the Southern California defense is so far stymied the Irish on runs inside the ends. Ball on the 39-yard line. It's second down and about a yard to go. Waiting for it is Ray, the quarterback. He's in the eye formation, and Ray on a give to that big fullback again. And he cracks over right guard, Cunningham, and he got a yard. That's about all he needed. And he might have picked up that yard. They might get the chain in here for a measurement. In there to make the tackle for Notre Dame was Mike Kadish, but they'll bring the chain in. So mark the ball on the 38-yard line. It's first down. First and ten to go, and that's seven first downs now for the Southern California Trojans. They have it on the Notre Dame 38-yard line, and they have it first and ten with six minutes and seven seconds of playing time remaining. Uh, the Irish front four of Batulski and Kadish and Swenson up there uh, trying to mark and hold against a Southern California offense, which has a lot of momentum right now. And, of course, Greg Marks uh, is a big man in that line, but so far he's been having a tough time against the final offensive tackle blocking against them by Ryan. Two flankers. Holland is back in there, and here is Ray rolling out the right, looking for a pass receiver. He's got this the ball. And Notre Dame covers the football down on the 41, and Notre Dame loses it again. And let's see who got it. Back here on the 39-yard line, and I believe, whoop, we've got some trouble out here. A few fisticuffs out there, and both benches have emptied. Both benches have emptied, and feeling really run high. about everybody from both benches out there. And we're getting action of plenty. And I couldn't give you the global blow of any particular fight because they're going in all directions out here right now. Both benches empty. And now they've got to straighten them out. Ray was hit. He fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. And Notre Dame recovered the ball. And the ball squirted out again. But I believe the whistle had blown where it was originally covered. Now they're getting the gendarmes out here, the Indiana State Police. <laughs> the boys will be boys, don't worry about it. <laughs> I want to tell you, there's a timeout on the field with the score, Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7. The Bowling Green in East Greenbush has complete banquet facilities to cater to your every party need with open bowling parties, children's birthday parties, office parties, and could also arrange for a special party. And the Bowling Green is almost always open. The Latham Bowl, your bowling center in Latham, is just about always open. Are you having a party? Then why not have it at the Latham Bowl? The Latham Bowl has open bowling parties, office parties, children's birthday parties, too, and can arrange for any special party. The Latham Bowl also has complete banquet facilities. An independent agent providing Royal Globe Insurance in this area is J. Edward Poole and Company. This is WQBK.
Rensler. I've seen quite a few of Bill, but I don't believe I've ever seen that many people in it. And one thing about it is Joe DeFranco, who's in our booth today from California, has pointed out if you threw anybody out, you wouldn't have anybody to play because everybody was involved. Everybody was off the benches out there in the field at that time. And fortunately, most of them had their helmets on because it's not very wise to go out on that field without a helmet in a melee like that. Well, the safest place to be is up in our mutual booth. I don't think pressure I would want to be on the sidelines at that time. <laughs> First down at 10 to go for Notre Dame after recovering the fumble. A little difficult to tell you who got the fumble. About 15 people were involved in there. So the ball's on the 35-yard line of Southern California. First and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. The Irish are asking for quiet so they can hear the signals. They've got great field position now and a chance to come back. They're trailing 21. Brown is rolling out to the right. Look out behind. He throws. Dropped by Gallagher. I want to tell you, they've dropped three passes on this youngster today. Right in the hands. He has hit his receivers, and they just can't hold him. So you can't fault the sophomore Cliff Brown, Bill. Cliff Brown, who last week had difficulty in his first starting role in hitting his receivers, has been doing an exceptionally fine job this afternoon. The only trouble, as Van mentioned, the fact the receivers have not held on to the ball. He laid one right in the hands of Craney, who took a step before he forgot that the ball had no handle on it. And just then, beautiful pass to Gallagher, which was dropped. So Cliff Brown is doing a fine job through the air here today. Double wing formation with two flankers waiting for it now is Brown. Second and ten from the 35. And here's a pitch back on a reverse to Gallagher. Gallagher is at the 35, the 30. And there's a clip on the play. An obvious clip on the play. So Notre Dame will lose 15 yards on the clip. Southern California leading by a score of 28 to 7 with five minutes and 18 seconds to play in the first half. And here's a 15-yard walk-off for clipping against Notre Dame. And we've seen that many times. I that time, Frank Pomerico was coming around to throw a block on the reverse. The Southern California player turned just as Pomerico threw his body and therefore the flag down in a penalty of 15 yards. Pomerico, who is an outstanding sophomore lineman. Attended Larry DiNardo, the All-American guard at Notre Dame School, back east. Pomerico from Howard Beach in New York, and he leads the Irish back to the line of scrimmage as Novikov is back in. Willie Townsend is the only flanker out wide to the right. The ball is way back on the 48, second down, about 25. Brown throws the screen pass to Huff, up at the 45, and Huff is tripped up from behind. Caught from behind there by Erickson, number 88, who tripped him up. They had the screen set up beautifully. He almost got away with it down to the 41-yard line. That penalty was the second against Notre Dame, a total of 30 yards, assessed against the Irish. Parker's back in. The ball is on the 41-yard line. It's third down. And 16 yards to go, and Gatewood came out onto the field, and now he's being called back by Coach Forsega. They're in the double-wing formation again, with Huff, the one setback. In the slot is Parker to the left, and Brown is going back to throw. Brown looks, throws one deep to Townsend, and it is incomplete. Incomplete. Two men were down covering, and when that ball bounced around in the air, Parker, who was failing the play, almost intercepted, uh, almost caught the ball, and Parker of Southern California almost intercepted it. On the preceding play, Townsend had been opened down around the Southern California 10-yard line, and it looked as if that play had come directly from upstairs this past time because they did throw to Townsend, who this time, instead of going down and to the right, came down, ran in a post pattern, and he was almost there at the right time. Here's a timeout with the score. Southern California, 28, Notre Dame, 7. Hurry to Fernapco's carload sale of famous GE television, stereos, refrigerators, ranges, washers, dryers, and dishwashers. All merchandise is fully warranted with free local delivery on larger items. Use your master charge or the convenient budget plan. Buy GE at Fernapco or Interstate Avenue Colony. Open Monday, Thursday, and Friday nights till 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 10 to 5. Fernapco. Remember, there's no lower price anywhere than at Fernapco. in our broadcast booth, the weather, the ceiling has been almost zero here in South Bend and uh, tonight the old announcer is due in Detroit, Michigan to appear at a testimonial dinner for Faust Bianco, one of the top golf pros in the country. And it looks like uh, we're going to have to walk though because uh, my pilot here, Stan Petzak, who's a weather barometer, says that uh, we may not be flying. Woody Cochet is our pilot, finally, and he's on his way, I hope, but I don't know how we're going to get out of here. Guardy is back in kick formation. He's standing back on the 45-yard line. 
Gets the snap from center, gets his kick away, booms it high, angles it for the sideline, and the ball in goes out of bounds on the one yard line. Would you believe? The one yard line. Quite a front by Brian Doherty, 6'2, 180 pounder, a sophomore from Portland, Oregon. A 40 yard top and quarter kick, which could not hardly have been closer. They're spotting it at the one and a half yard line. So the Irish defense, which is one of the little field position of its own, to make Southern California be a little more honest rather than those long passes with field position, have an opportunity now. And Potoski and Kadich and Marks and Swenson are all ready. The ball went out on the two-yard line. First down at 10 to go for Southern California. And back in there, quarterback is Jimmy Jones. Garrison and Swan are flanked out. Jones on the keeper right up the middle. Brings it out to the six-yard line. In there making the tackle was Mike Crotty in the secondary. He got it back to the six-yard line. He gained four yards on the play. It'll be second down and six yards to go now for Southern California. Clock moving. Four minutes and ten seconds of playing time remaining. Southern California, 28. Notre Dame, seven. As we play here in the second quarter. Swan and Garrison are the flankers. The I formation. And back in there is Jimmy Jones. And Potomsky moved across the line. We'll wait and see if Southern California drew him offside. The flags went down. It was John Villa, Ben. And we'll just have to wait and see who the penalty will be against. I believe it's going to be walked off against Notre Dame for illegal procedure. Illegal procedure against Southern California, the official says. So they drew Potomsky off. And a five-yard walk-off. It won't be that much. It'll be half the distance, which will move it back to the three-yard line, which will make it second down and nine yards to go. So they drew big Potolsky off uh, the line of scrimmage and uh, contact was made and the penalty walked off. That's the second penalty, only seven and a half yards against Southern California. Now Swan is deployed to the right side, spread out to the left side. Here's Garrison. And here is that front four swarming in on top of the quarterback, Jimmy Jones, on the four-yard line and no place for him to go. Podolsky, Kadish, Marks, and Swenson all went in there. And uh, about a ton and a half of beef in there right then as there were some six or seven blue shirts on top of him as he made a move. Just a moment ago, John Vela, as Jones was calling signals, made a little hitch in his stance, and that is why Big Walt Potosky came across, belted him pretty good, and the illegal motion penalty was assessed against Southern California. Third down, about eight yards to go. Two wide receivers waiting for it now as Jones, the quarterback from the four, tries to keep her in that front four again, in on top of him. Pulling down on the five-yard line. Kadish, Marks, and Swenson, and Tukolsky all went storming in there again. And they pulled him down on the five-yard line, so that will make it fourth down coming up. Fourth down and seven yards to go with two minutes and 47 seconds of playing time remaining. What Notre Dame needs now is to get a run back of a kick here as Crotty drops back in the single safety as they trail it 28-7. to They'd like to get more points on that board before the halftime intermission. Bullwear is back in kick formation in the end zone. He's standing almost out of the field to play. Waiting now for the snapback. Gets the perfect pass in center and gets his kick away. Floats it out of there. Crotty slips and falls. And he gets the ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 45. He's down to the 40. And Crotty just puts his head down and bails on down to the 38-yard line before he's hauled down. He had no chance to do much running because he slipped and fell. 40 yards on the kick on the great pressure and a fine kick on the part of Bowler of Southern California. First down and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. They have the ball on the Southern California 38-yard line. Two minutes, 13 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half of the ball game. Out of the huddle, Notre Dame. Darrell Dewan is flanked to the left side. Split out the right is Willie Townsend. Gatewood is back in. He's in the slot to the right side. Cliff Brown is the quarterback. And Brown is going back to throw. He looks downfield. He throws, and this one is caught by Townsend at the 22-yard line. And Parker knocked him out of bounds. Willie Townsend went five feet in the air and hauled that one in. Brown had good protection that time from his forward wall. He had time to throw the ball. So Notre Dame has moved the ball now down to the 22-yard line of Southern California. 15 yards gained on the play. The Irish battling trying to get on that board before the intermission. That's nine first downs. Gatewood is flanked to the right side. Split to the left is Larry Parker. It's a double wing formation with Andy Huff, the one running back. Waiting for it now is Cliff Brown. And Brown on the draw to Huff. Huff is at the 20. Huff is at the 19. He's tackled by Mike McGurr. As he reaches the 19-yard line, he got three yards on the play at second down and seven. And the clock is continuing to move. 
That time is a big factor right now. Coming in is Bill Gallagher from the sidelines, along with Daryl Dewan and Parker and Gatewood. Both come out. Notre Dame's taking an unusually lot of time in that huddle. The clock is moving off. Minute and 40 seconds to go. They may get them for too much time. They finally break out of it. They send Willie Townsend out wide to the right side. Daryl Dewan to the left side. And waiting for it, the official is poised with that whistle. Brown throws a sideline pass to Townsend. He's jumped on the 22-yard line by Thomas of Southern California, cornerback. And there's a timeout on the field with a score. Southern California, 28, Notre Dame, 7. John McKay has had an outstanding coaching career at the University of Southern California. He has had two national collegiate championships in 1962 and 67, two unbeaten seasons, 1962 and 69. Two Heisman Trophy winners, Mike Garrett in 1965 and the fabulous O.J. Simpson in 1968. He has a great record in 11 years of 82 victories, 29 losses, and five ties. One of the great coaches in American collegiate football. It will be third down and nine yards to go when play is resumed. Cliff Brown came over the sidelines and talked to Eric Pasigan. And time, of course, is a factor now with one minute, 22 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half of this ball game. And Southern California out in front, 28 to 7. 21 point lead. Two pass interceptions have played a prominent role. And Garrison has been quite a boy out here today. He caught three passes. Two touchdown passes delivered by Southern California. Townsend is flanked to the left side. Gallagher is flanked out to the right in this double wing formation. And Brown is going back to throw. He gets some time. He throws. And this one is intercepted on the four-yard line. Intercepted on the four-yard line by Fate. Double check that. Looks like Fate. Number 47. That's right. Fate is the man who intercepted the ball. And he was tackled as he reached the nine-yard line. So now it will be first and ten for Southern California from their own nine. That's the third interception today, Bill Afterson. And he was trying to force that ball that time right up the middle, and he threw in a crowd of people, and the Southern California defenders were very thick and numerous. Cliff uh, trying now under pressure to fire in for a six-pointer before the half ends, forced it, and therefore the interception. High formation with two flankers, quarterback Jimmy Jones. And Jones on a give now to his running back, Harris, who's dumped on the nine. And making the tackle in there, Mazurka. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. The ball is on the nine-yard line of Southern California, where it is second down. And ten yards to go. And Southern California has asked for a timeout. And so the Trojans call the timeout with only 43 seconds to go, and Jones is going over the sidelines to talk to John McKay, the head coach. Well, I want to tell you here, uh, Abe Schiller, of the vice president of the Dunes Hotel out in Las Vegas, who sees about 65 or 70 football games a year and becoming one of the real experts on the game. And Abe, are you surprised at this score here of 28 to 7? You've seen Southern California three times well, this year. To tell you the truth, Van, I'm not too surprised because this is the most electrifying game I've ever seen. And it certainly looked like Southern Cal was going to come out fighting. And they've got a great contingent here from Southern California. And uh, you could see right from the beginning of the game that it was going to be a real wild ding-dong game, and it certainly has been that. They've had all the breaks. They've got a few interceptions, and they really came to play football, and boy, they're playing it, and Notre Dame is really going to have to work to get back uh, in a game sometime in the next half. How did they lose those four games where they were playing today? Well, they certainly are playing today. I, they, just, they, they must have pointed for Notre Dame because they are certainly uh, tearing up the field here today, and... Man, it's certainly nice to see such a great, great crowd in this kind of weather here in Notre Dame. It's always wonderful to be here. And thank you very much for having me on microphone. Thank you very much, Abe. Abe Schiller of the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. Here's a give now to Cunningham. That dive play over the middle. He gets it up to about the 12 or 13-yard line. The clock showing now only about 36 seconds of playing time remaining. And Southern California and uh, Notre Dame utilizing those timeouts. And Notre Dame calls the timeout this time to stop that clock, hoping to get the football again. And Southern California out in front by a score of 28 to 7. And if you just got off the boat somewhere around the world, that's the score. They have a 21-point lead, and they were favored over... Notre Dame was favored by some 12 or 12 and a half minutes, or, or points, rather, and we have 
20, 36 seconds of playing time remaining here, and our last minute to play in the first half of this ball game. Ben, I think it's interesting. Last night, uh, when we came to the press party here at uh, campus of the University of Notre Dame, it was interesting to talk to many sports writers and broadcasters from all around the country, and some scouts and some people from the Sugar and Orange Bowls, and everybody had said what a titanic defensive battle we would probably see today. And as I look around under these cloudy and overcast skies, I can hardly believe that that score is really Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7, with 36 seconds remaining in the first half, and almost the duplication of the first half at Los Angeles last year. Well, it's a real pleasure to have the, one of the greatest coaches of all time, Coach Frank Leahy, in our booth now, and we'll be talking to the coach in just a moment. Waiting now is the quarterback, Jones. And Jones on a give to Cunningham again off the left side. He's at the 20, comes on up to the 25-yard line with it. And Stepaniak finally made the tackle on him. And it's a first down for Southern California. The clock showing 30 seconds of playing time remaining now. They mark the ball on the 24-yard line. First down and 10 to go. And Southern California asked for the timeout that time. We have eight first downs racked up now by Southern California. So mark the ball on the 24-yard line of the Trojans, make it first and 10 for them. And, of course, Notre Dame has been having its problems all year in trying to punch that ball across the goal line. They've averaged uh, almost 280 yards a game offensively, but they haven't been able to score too much. And being down 21 points, they will really have their work cut out for them in the last half of this ball game. It's brightening up a little bit here at Notre Dame Stadium, and the rain has just about stopped. And we're ready to go now with the ball on the 24-yard line. 28-7, Southern California leading just before the halftime intermission. Out wide to the right. Split out is Garrison, who's had himself quite a day. He's been being covered now by two men. they got two men, two on one, here on this uh, split end. And here's the quarterback, Jones, going back to throw. He gets all day, and he throws it. He's caught at the 40-yard line. Caught out there by Swan, and Swan is dumped on the 42-yard line by Stepaniak. And now Notre Dame asks for a timeout with 20 seconds playing time remaining. One thing about it, the quarterback, Jimmy Jones, is trying to get just as many points on that board as he can get. Ball on the 43-yard line now, where it's first down and 10 to go on the Southern California 43-yard line. So it would be surprising to see him put it in the air again with only 12 seconds of playing time remaining. Out wide to the right is Garrison. Swan is split out to the left side in the I formation as Jones calls the signals for Southern California. He gives it to Cunningham, running off left tackle. Greg Marks gets him around the ankles and brings him down on the 49. And there is the gun, the end of the first half of the score. Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7. Voice of Notre Dame football, Van Patrick. Thank you, Bill Etherton. And Hall will kick off for Southern California, Greg Hill. And Demonick are standing back on the goal line. And here's the boot. Good high end over end kick coming down to the end zone. Taken by Hill. He's back to the 5. Goes to 10. Comes up to 15. Coming up to 20. 25. Goes to 30. Brings it all the way back up to the 32-yard line before he's finally hauled down by Southern California. And making the tackle for the Trojans. Was number 87, Kent Carter. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for Notre Dame from their own 32-yard line. Nice to have Ed Rogers, the advertising manager of the Ford Motor Company in our booth, and I know that uh, Mr. John Norton, the general manager of Ford, who has a son who plays a defensive halfback for Notre Dame, he expected to see the game. I don't imagine he did it with the weather the way it is. He may be listening. <laughs> here's the wishbone, and here's the pitch back now to Gallagher. Turning the corner, going wide. He's at the 34, and he's dropped after a two-yard gain by Erickson. It's a little difficult to cut out there on that field. It's still very slippery. Although the rain has been contained to almost a drizzle here at South Bend, nevertheless, the field is very slippery. Coming in as John Chiskowski, Andy Huff will come out. We're just getting underway now in the second half of the ball game with Southern California leading by a score of 28 to 7. Grant, McGurr, Follett, and Skiles are up front for Southern California with Hall, Anthony, or check that Anthony, Carter, and Erickson backing up the line. Townsend split out to the right side for Notre Dame. The pitch is to Parker. He throws a pass to Townsend, and it's just out of his reach. They crossed him up. The handoff was to Parker. Townsend was 10 yards back of everybody, Bill. Cliff Brown is continuing to throw exceptionally well today, and he hung that one just off the fingertips of Townsend, who, had he caught it, had nothing but green grass between him and the final chalk line. Brown has passed beautifully today. 
But unfortunately, several of them have been dropped, and Jimmy Jones and Mike Ray of Southern Cal have put on an equally electrifying show. Gatewood is back in and split out to the right side. He hasn't played much in the ball game. Brown is back to throw from a double wing, gets time. He looks, he throws, and it is batted in the air incomplete. Townsend was the intended receiver, and three Southern California defensive men were right around him. Hall, Bates, Parker, Erickson were all around him. On that third down play with big yardage, Southern Cal dropping back in a prevent defense, and they had all kinds of white shirts back there, but Cliff Brown drilled it pretty well again. And now the Irish are forced into a punting position, fourth and nine. That score is Southern California, 28th Notre Dame, seven early moments of the third period. Doherty is back in kick formation, and Hinton and Swan are back in the double safety spots for Southern California. Doherty gets his kick away, and it's a short kick coming down on the 34. It's fumble. Southern California recovered the ball. Southern California recovered the ball, and it was number 55 there of Southern California. It was Anthony, Chuck Anthony, a 32-yard kick. And so the ball is on the 32-yard line of Southern California. First down and 10 to go now for the Trojans, who are leading 28-7 to with 13 minutes and 50 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter. Garrison is flanked out to the right side. Swan is deployed to the left in the I formation. Harris in the top of the I. Cunningham right back at the quarterback. And the quarterback now is Jones, and he gives it to Harris, and Harris off left tackle. He is brought down by Greg Marks, the big 250-pound tackle from Redford, Michigan. And the ball is marked on the 34. It will be a gain of two yards on the play, and it's second down and eight yards to go for Southern California. And checking in now is uh, Bill Holland, and Cunningham is going out. That's at the running back spot for Southern California. Garrison flanked to the right side, Swan to the left side. They've gone almost all day that way. In motion now goes uh, man out wide to the right. Back goes the quarterback. He throws incomplete. This one was intended for Eric or Garrison and incomplete. Ellis was back there to cover. So it's incomplete. That'll bring up a third down and eight situation now for Southern California. Schleesers is checking into the backfield. They'll probably take out O'Malley. That's what they'll do. A linebacker get a little more uh, defense in there in the secondary on passes. And back in is Cunningham, and Bill Holland goes out. That's for Southern California. Wide to the right is Garrison of Compton, California. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Clarence Ellis nose to nose with him. Back goes the quarterback Jones. He throws. It is caught by the big tight end Young up on the 46-yard line, and they have put more pass rush on Jones on that play than any time today, and he still got it away and hit his tight end for 12 yards. Man, Frank Leahy at the halftime, and incidentally, that was a fine interview and a visit with a great football coach, had said that the Irish would have to put more pressure. They had not rushed Jones or Ray effectively in the first half of the game at all. And just two plays ago, Fred Swenson almost caught him, and that time Mazurka was right down his throat. First and ten at 11 first downs. The I formation with two flankers, and waiting for it now is Jones, the quarterback. And Jones on a give to that big running back again, Cunningham, and he's dumped at the 50-yard line. Dumped right at the 50-yard line. So he got about four on the play. It'll be second down and six. Mac Brownie and quite a group here from Forestville, Maryland, watching the game today. Cunningham in 10 carries has gained 46 yards. Nice wire in our booth from Dave McIntyre and Ray Albert, fans from Indianapolis. Garrison is flanked out wide to the right. Slip to the left is Swan, the I formation. Second down, six yards to go. Jones waits. Long cadence count. Takes it, gives it to Cunningham. Cunningham runs into the front four and is stacked up at the 48-yard line. Kapolsky leading the defensive charge for Notre Dame. Kadish, Marks, and Swenson. And so they'll mark the ball on the 48-yard line. It will be third down coming up now and just about four yards to go. Schleesers comes back in, figuring Southern California to put the ball in the air on this play. Of course, what Southern California would like to do is do as much ball control as they can do because we're in the last half and it's 28 to 7 with 12 minutes to go in the third quarter. Nose to nose again, Ellis along with Garrison. That's been a battle out there all day, but Garrison has had himself quite a day. Waiting for it is Jones, the quarterback, the long cadence count again. Swan is deployed out the left, in motion now. Goes running back Harris. 
Back goes Jones. He slips, but he throws, and it is caught. Caught by Garrison again, and he got that one right in front of Clarence Ellis, and he was tackled on the 36-yard line. Here's the first time we have seen a man in motion used by Southern California this afternoon. It didn't bother or affect the play at all because Garrison went down straight to about five yards, hooked into the inside, and he was completely clear of Clarence Ellis. And Garrison has shown fine ability here today, Van. He's a fine receiver. He's been a big difference in this ball game for Southern California. He's caught four passes today for 109 yards. Garrison flanked out to the right side. Swan deployed to the left in the I formation. Notre Dame in a 4-4. And here is the quarterback, Jones, back to throw again. He gets all day, and he throws one deep. It is intercepted by Notre Dame. Down on the three-yard line, and it drops to Pontiac. He intercepted the ball. So there's a timeout on the field with a score. Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7. The pride of the Fighting Irish results from their outstanding performance year after year on the gridiron. Now thousands of travelers like yourself have built a reputation of service to the traveling public. Ramada Inn Motor Hotel. Your recognition of Ramada's performance has enabled them to grow within the past few years into one of the largest motor hotel chains in the United States. Because of Ramada's friendly service, convenience, excellent food, and reasonable prices, you are able to enjoy luxury for less. Ramada's consistent ability to provide you with the best and your recognition and enjoyment of Ramada Inns is the source of Ramada's pride. A reputation that makes Ramada Inns as hard to beat as the Fighting Irish. Call your nearest Ramada Inn for immediate nationwide reservation. You'll find Ramada Inns at more than 300 locations. Built on five to serve you better with luxury for less. Ready to go to work, and here's a handoff now to Andy Huff. Running off left tackle gets to the five. So a pickup on the play of about two yards, a series of downs originating from the three after the intercepted by Stepaniak. And they move the ball to the five-yard line. Notre Dame deep in their own territory in operation from their own five, trailing 28-7 to seven in the third quarter with 10 minutes and 40 seconds of playing time remaining. Huff has carried the ball nine times today and gained 26 yards. Wide to the right is Willie Townsend. The wishbone formation, Cliff Brown, the quarterback running the Notre Dame team. And Brown back in the end zone to pass. He looks, he throws way over the head of Townsend. There was the first pass there, which I think we could really say was badly overthrown, but there was tremendous pressure from Bella and from Anthony and from Skiles of Southern California on Cliff Brown that time. And when you have that ball on the five-yard line, you certainly don't have a lot of room in which to maneuver or a lot of time in which to make up your mind. The pass to Townsend, way overthrown. Again, it's Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7, early moments yet of this third quarter here. And Southern Cal showing us an excellent defense against the ground game. It will be third down and eight yards to go with the ball on the five-yard line. A big play for Notre Dame, deep in their own territory. Brown on the draw play, gives it to, her, uh, to Dewan, and he's caught on the six. Now they'll have to kick with great pressure. McGurr is the man who made the tackle, the left tackle of Southern California. Grant, McGurr, and uh, Ballard and Skiles have been doing a good job up front there for Southern California, and Brian Doherty is in to do the kicking, and Doherty has been having a little trouble with his kicking game today. And he'll have to kick under extreme pressure. The line of scrimmage is a six-yard line. He's deep in the end zone. So the California dropping two men back. Hinton, one of them. Pass back to Doherty. Gets his kick away. Booms it high this time and out of there. The fair catch is called for. And then they're going to run with it. So a flag is down. It's hit running with the ball. The fair catch was called for by Swan. And then they ran with the ball. 46 yards on that kick under extreme pressure. So now that means that Southern California, instead of having the ball on the 48-yard line, will have a penalty walked off for running with a fair catch. They gave the signal, then ran with the ball. The only difference was one signaled it and the hit and ran with it. <laughs> they had one of those Alphonse Gaston acts down there about you do it, no, I'll do it, no, you do it. He held up his hand, and then he turned around, and his buddy had the football and was rushing off 15 yards downfield, and the official was simply standing there saying, well, go ahead, spin your wheels for a minute, but fellas, we're going to bring it right back and start all over from the Southern California 43-yard line. The quarterback now is Mike Ray. As Southern California takes over on their own 42-yard line, first down and 10 to go, it is Garrison and Swan, the flankers, the I formation, Cunningham is right back of the quarterback, Mike Ray. 
Over the ball is Brown, the center, waiting for it. Ray, Ray on a give to Cunningham on a trap off the left side. And he was hit there by the linebacker, Tolman, and then O'Malley made the tackle secure, but not before he picked up some yardage to the 47-yard line, a gain on the play. Gain on the play of about five. Of course, they had a five-yard walk-off, and the end of that chain is on the 43-yard line over Notre Dame territory, so it'll be second down and about ten. Mike Zekas has now come in replacing Mike Hadish at a big, important defensive left tackle spot, but he's equally big, about 250. Wide to the right now, Swan deployed out to the left. He is Air Garrison in motion, goes Brown, and back goes Ray to throw. He lets it go, and it is incomplete on the 41-yard line. Incomplete on the 41-yard line, and sent it for Garrison, and Zekas was putting the pressure on the passer that time, Mike Ray. So they will bring that ball back and place it down on the 43-yard line, 42-yard line, where it'll be third down and 10 yards to go for Southern California. Southern California leading Notre Dame 28-7. to We are in the third quarter with eight minutes and 47 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter. Swan deployed to the right side. Erickson, or Garrison now, is going off the left side. Stefaniak is dropping off to cover Swan one-on-one. Ellis is covering the man on the other side, Garrison. And here's the give to the fullback, and he runs into Zekas at the 49-yard line. Big Cunningham, and boy, he's big, I'll tell you. He got it up to the 49-yard line. So that will make it fourth down. Schlees is coming in. Coming out of there is Ellis. Dropping back is Crotty. And Bullwear is in to do the kicking for Southern California. With a score 28 to 7, the Trojans are leading the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. The line of scrimmage is the 49-yard line. It is fourth down. About seven. Here's the kick. Good kick by Bullware. Look at this one. And the ball is bounding around and into the end zone. So there's a timeout with a score of Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7. How many of the players in today's game between Southern California and Notre Dame will turn pro? Well, that's anybody's guess. I can tell you about 7,000 pros in the field of insurance. They're the skillful service and claims people of Royal Blow in over 120 offices throughout the United States. They work closely with Royal Globe agents everywhere. Look for the one nearest you in the yellow pages under Royal Globe Insurance. Worldwide shield against the unexpected. A bad looking down here with eight minutes and five seconds remaining in the contest, in the third period of the contest, I should say. We remember the words of the coaching staff that they didn't really want to play catch-up football, and certainly that is exactly the picture facing Notre Dame here now and has been since the first half of play as Southern California leads 28-7. to 8.05 remaining third period at Notre Dame and Southern California with a classic battle here. Now the skies have cleared just a shade and the drizzle has stopped. The umbrellas have been put down at the outset of the game. We had a profusion. We had literally uh, the stands covered by umbrellas and raincoats, but it's become quite comfortable climate-wise. But the Irish have a big job now with the ball first and 10 on their own 20 and a long way to go and 21 points behind. And Patrick along with Bill Etherton from Notre Dame Stadium. It's first and 10 from the 20 and Brown is back to throw. He throws one that's batted in the air. That big, tall, defensive left end, six foot five, John Grant just reached up and slapped it down. He's getting some protection. At that time, the big John Grant reached up and hauled it down. You know, I was going to compliment the punt by Southern California a minute ago, Van. That's one of the outstanding punts we've seen. 51 yards when he came down, almost had snow on it. formation. Here's Brown going back to throw again. He looks, he throws, and this one, oh my, intended for Townsend way over his head, but four men were covering Townsend, and that's what you call throwing one into heavy traffic. Brown has attempted 19. He has completed six so far for 64 yards, and there have been three key and crucial interceptions. So the Irish are forced by the Southern California defense to continue to try to go to the air, and Tom Gatewood who has played not very much at all here this afternoon, comes into the ball game. Gallagher is coming out. Now Gatewood is in, so two wide receivers, Gatewood and Townsend, and they're sending Darrell Dewan out wide to the left in this double wing formation. The one running back is Andy Huff, 
And Brown is back to throw, and he throws this one out here in the sidelines, incomplete. And two men were on Gatewood, and Parker almost intercepted that one. Now, one thing about Brown is, Bill, when he makes up his mind he's going to throw to a receiver, he throws to that receiver. It doesn't make any difference how many men are covering. But that's getting him in a little trouble out here today. Down on the near side, Darrell Dewan had gone down, and he was wide open up around the Notre Dame 40-yard line. But as Van mentioned, Brown was determined to go to the far side in the Gatewood, and he almost hung it up there in Southern California. Artemis Brown almost ran it back 30 yards for a touchdown. The Irish in a punting situation again. Back in kick formation now is Doherty with a fourth down and 10. He gets his kick away and booms this one deep. Fair catch is called for. And Hinton takes it and stops right on the 31. There's a timeout with a score, Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7. Help you, ma'am? Yes, I'd like some English leather aftershave. Certainly. And some English leather shave cream. Anything else? Yes, English leather hairspray. Uh-huh. Some English leather cologne and soap and a rope. Right. Some English leather plus deodorant. No, a bottle of shampoo. Mm, not so fast. Can please. we mind stick deodorant? Yes. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. English leather quinoa hair tonic. I think that's all. Say, you must be one of those English leather ladies. You know, all my men wear English leather, every one of them. <sighs> what was your first crew? Here are some scores at halftime. Northwestern leads Indiana 14-3. to Third period score, Georgia Tech 17, Tulane 10. That's a surprise. Here's a final, Penn State 66, Texas Christian 14. And at halftime, the Oklahoma Sooners running over Kansas State 41-14. to We pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. An independent agent providing Royal Globe insurance in this area is J. Edward Poole and Company. This is WQBK, Rensselaer at 1300. 31, first and 10, Harrison motion to the left, double wing formation, Cunningham with the ball. Cunningham breaks two tackles and goes on up to about the 38, and there's a flag on the play. Tackle was made by Tolman. And they did move up to about the 38-39 yard line with a flag on the play. Tackling of the face mask, and that will hurt Notre Dame. Ball on the 39 yard line. The officials discussing it with Southern California. The Trojans are leading 28 to 7 with seven and a half minutes, 15 yards against Notre Dame. Well, I have the ball to 47, Bill. Excuse me, I have two other quick scores. Ohio State 17, Wisconsin nothing at the end of three. At the end of three, Alabama 26, Houston 14. Chris Bella is in there replacing Young at the tight end for Southern California. Flanked out wide to the right side now is Garrison. Swan is split to the left. 13 first downs, third penalty, 35 yards. In motion goes Harris. Here is Jones on the give to Cunningham. Cunningham runs into Mazurka and O'Malley as he reaches the 49-yard line. So now it'll be second down coming up for the Southern California Trojans with the ball on the 49-yard line of Notre Dame. Now Bella goes out and Young is in. That's a change. Wide to the right side comes number 22, the flanker back Swan, who's from Foster City, California. To the left side goes Garrison and waiting for it now in the I formation is the quarterback Jimmy Jones and Jones is going back to pass, stays in the pocket, throws one deep, deep, deep and Alice makes the reach for it, can't get it. Intended out there for Garrison. That was a 50-yard pass in the air. Walter Potolsky, the giant defensive left end of Notre Dame, has been having quite a battle all afternoon with John Vela, the offensive tackle on the right side for Southern California. And that time he had a clean shot as he came in as he threw Vela aside. But there again, a factor of the field because he slipped and fell just as he was coming in on the Southern California quarterback. So Potolsky... Still forcing, still coming, and yet the field conditions becoming a factor in the contest right now. Sleaze is in that secondary now, replacing O'Malley. High formation, two flankers. Now they flood the zone to the right side, getting two flankers on the right, and back goes Jones. He's getting time. He throws, and this one is incomplete on the 35-yard line. Put out of bounds by Swan over there, and Ellis bumped him out of bounds. They flooded the zone to the right and then went to the left with a pass. Brings it back to the 49-yard line. O'Malley comes back in. It's fourth down. And so the kicker, Bullware, is in there for Southern California. No scoring here in this third quarter. After that explosive first quarter, we had a wild one. 
Southern California 28, Notre Dame 7 the score, six and a half minutes of playing time remaining in the third quarter. Bullwear is back now in kick formation, and Mike Crotty goes back into single safety for Notre Dame. He's standing back on about the 11-yard line. Gets the pass from center, gets his kick away, and a flag is down. It'll be roughing the kicker, and the ball goes out of bounds. Number 47, Mazurka went in there trying to block the kick, and he ran uh, blocked, actually, almost blocked into the kicker, Bullwear. It was a 43-yard kick, but it'll be a penalty assessed against Notre Dame for roughing the kicker. Well, if you come in and you're forcing and trying to block the punch, you better be sure that you get a piece of the ball because if you don't, that mic goes down right now. And there is the penalty being walked off. Personal foul against Notre Dame. Roughing the kicker. And as Van said, Mazurka was coming in rapidly and it would appear from here perhaps he was blocked into the punter. Ball on the 33-yard line. That's the fourth Notre Dame penalty. A total of 50 yards. And that's 14 first downs for Southern California. Wide to the right side goes Swan. Split out to the left side now is Garrison. High formation. Cunningham and Harris right back to the quarterback Jones and they moved in the backfield so uh, there's no flag and here's a handoff now back to Jones and a flag is down it'll be clipped. Petrovsky was clipped. He was clipped out there by Swan and the play was finally ended on the pitch out there to Harris on about the 38 but it'll be a clipping penalty against him. Now the two backs moved in the backfield and no flag was thrown. Blue Harris took a full step toward the line of scrimmage before that snap and then hustled back into position and we looked for a flag then came down but as Potoski came forcing on the play from his defensive left hand position he was fouled and he was clipped and there is the 15 yard walk off. So in the past couple of minutes the two teams have exchanged personal fouls. 15 yards roughing the punter and 15 yards now for clipping. Mike Townsend has replaced Mike Crotty in the secondary for Notre Dame. The ball is on the 43 and it's first down and about 33 yards to go. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Mike Ray, who has just gone in. He's going back to throw, stays in that pocket and throws a sideline pattern. It's completed at the 40-yard line to Garrison. And what a day he's having. I want to tell you something about Mr. Garrison. He is a 6'1", 185-pound, 20-year-old junior who has a lifetime best in the quarter mile of 45.4. And that, my friend, is really moving along. Now, Garrison, listen to this, did not play high school football. He is one of the Trojans' best deep threats as he has shown repeatedly today, and he has nine five speed in the 100. That's a pretty good reason why he is giving Clarence Ellis and the Irish secondary a lot of fits today. Here is Ellis moving out against Garrison on the wide side once again. 127 yards for Garrison today. And here is Ray back to throw. He dumps it out there incomplete. Flag down. He threw that one out in the left flat, and a flag was down, so it will be holding against Southern California. Six minutes, nine seconds. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. That's 43 yards and penalties against USC. This is Van Patrick along with Bill Etherton at Notre Dame Stadium. And it's nice to have you with us wherever you are today across this great nation of ours, Southern California, leading by 21 points over Notre Dame as we play in the third quarter with six minutes, nine seconds to go. The ball is back on the 43-yard line. It is second down and 34 yards to go for Southern California. They flood the zone to the right, and they've got Mike Morgan in there now as a flanker and split out to the right side along with Garrison, and back goes the quarterback, Ray, stays in that pocket, rolls out, Petulski makes a grab, he's being chased by Zika, he's at the 45, cuts in, fumbles the ball, Notre Dame has the football, on the 46-yard line, the Zicker is the man who recovered it for Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish have the football on their own, 46-yard line, and they have it first down and 10 to go from that point. Mike Ray is skirting right, one running wide to the right side and fumbled the football and Mazurka recovered it. So now it is first down and 10 to go for the Irish from their own 46. They get Novikov in there at center. The guards are Pomerico and Convict. Dampier and Humber to the tackle. 
Willie Townsend is the split end. He's out the right side. Creeney's the tight end. The wishbone formation. Cliff Brown is the quarterback. And Brown is going back to throw. He stays in the pocket. He looks. He throws one a mile. It's caught by Creeney. Down on the 15-yard line. Creeney turns. Heads for the goal line. He goes to the 12. He's brought down by Thomas on the 12. That time, Cliff Brown, with tremendous protection that he has had all afternoon, we put the clock on him. He had four and a half seconds in which to throw that football. Four and a half seconds, which is almost triple what any good quarterback needs, and that pass play was good for 42 yards. And I wanted to mention a moment ago that Mike Ray did not want to run out of the pocket, but Wolf Potowski forced him out and subsequently forced that fumble. The Irish, first and 10, Southern Cal 12 yard line. Ball on the 12 yard line, it's first and 10, and Brown is rolling to the right, pitches it back to Parker. Parker spinning into the 10, cuts in at the 9, and is dropped on the 9 yard line by Anthony, the linebacker of Southern California. Five minutes and 20 seconds of playing time remaining. The Trojans lead Notre Dame 28 to 7. And Notre Dame with the ball on the nine yard line. Andy Huff comes in at fullback. Andy Huff is in there replacing John Chiskowski. Three yards gained on that play. It'll be second down and seven yards to go from the nine. Out of the huddle. And they send Willie Townsend out wide to the left side. A full wishbone in that backfield. Brown is waiting for it, and Brown is giving it off now to his running back out there. Parker, he's at the five. He's knocked down on the four-yard line by Parker. Anthony and Parker of Southern California tackle Larry Parker of Notre Dame. The young man who went to the same school as All-American guard Larry DiNardo, Frank Pomerico, was leading that play. 6'1", 230, 8, the sophomore from Howard Beach in New York, and he just wiped people out as he led the play down to the Southern California four-yard line. Beautiful blocking by Frank Pomerico, a sophomore. Darrell Dewan has gone in now with John Chiskowski. That backfield, and uh, the quarterback is Brown. It's on the four, and the give is to Chiskowski. He took it to Chiskowski. It's a touchdown for Notre Dame, running off left guard, John Chiskowski. came up with a magnificent block going on the opposite side that time as he led the play to contribute immeasurably to that fine run by Chuskowski. 46 yards in four plays. Thomas's kick is up and good. So the clock is stopped on the field with a score. Southern California 28, Notre Dame 14. We'll be back. No matter what your game is, there's another game in town. Bowling, it's for everybody. It's easy, it's inexpensive, it's great fun, and it's wonderful exercise. Bowling, it's for everybody. Join the fun. Go bowling. There's no better way to unwind. Remember, there's more room to spare on weekends and daytimes during the week. Bowling, it's for everybody. National Bowling Council, Washington, D.C. We saw two fine plays that time as Frank Pomerico led the ball carry around the right side and then on the next play. Young Mr. Chaskowski from up Detroit, Michigan way. Big John, who's a junior, hit on the right defensive side of the Southern California line, led by Mike Crinney, a gaping breach, and into the end zone standing up, and right now it's a 28-14 game with four minutes and four seconds left to play third period, and it is far, far from over. Ready to go. Two men more deep along with Hinton. Notre Dame will kick off to Southern California. Smith will kick. And the kick. High end over end. Soccer style kick. It's taken out there by Moore at the five. He's back to the 10. He goes to the 15. He is belted as he reaches the 22-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for Southern California. They have the ball on the 22-yard line. This stadium is a bedlam now. The ladies and wrestlers. 17 yards on that run back by Moore. First down and 10 to go for Southern California from their own 22-yard line. They lead 28 to 14. They have a 14-point lead over the Fighting Irish with three minutes and 59 seconds of playing time remaining. And wide to the right side now is Morgan, Mike Morgan. Flank wide to the right. And they split 
Garrison out wide the left side. The quarterback is Jimmy Jones. Cunningham right behind him. He sends Harrison motion to the left. And he gives it off to Cunningham. And Cunningham is hit as he reaches the 26. Goes on to the 27-yard line. And he was tackled in there by Tolman, number 38 of Notre Dame. Ball is marked on the 27 again on the play of five. It'll be second down and five. It's been difficult to contain this big running back. Boy, I want to tell you, he has carried that ball today. Going into this game, he'd average five yards a carry. And today in 16 carries, he's gained 76 yards. Waiting for it now is the quarterback Jones again. He sends Harris in motion. Now it is Jones giving to Cunningham, and he is belted at the 29-yard line and brought down on the 29. Let's say something about Sam Cunningham, who is, as Dan told you repeatedly, has been one of the great stars in this game today. 6'3", 212, 20 years old, a junior. John McKay says he thinks that this young man will be one of the great college football runners before his graduation. Cunningham was the Trojans' second leading rusher last year, hitting 488 dead yards and scoring five touchdowns. Garrison is put out wide to the right side, Morgan to the left side, and the officials are asking for the time. Clock shows two minutes and 54 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter here at South Bend, Indiana. Next week, the Naval Academy will be here to play Notre Dame the following week, Pittsburgh. Now we're ready to go again with the ball marked on the 28-yard line. It is third down, about three yards to go. Garrison is flanked out to the right side. Split to the left side is Mike Morgan. High formation, and here's the give to Cunningham, and he dives over the middle, gets to the 31. And he got very, very close to a first down, and it's important because it uh, would be a fourth down coming up. And they may get the chain in here for a measurement, Bill Etherton. The chain gang getting a little exercise from the far side of the field. As out they come, this will be, it would look very close, although some of the Trojan players are waving that it is a first down. Walt Patulski standing there with a young man who has put on quite a show today, Jimmy Jones, a senior quarterback for the Trojans, and there it is. The signal first down Southern California. Walt Patulski has been double teamed. He has been triple teamed today. And most often, they have been running Cunningham away from him to the far side. That's a great tribute to a great defensive leader for the University of Notre Dame, Walt Potulski. 28-14, Southern Cal, 2.20 remaining, third period. Ball on the 31, a first down. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Jones. He gives it off to, Cunning, uh, to uh, Harris. Harris to the 35, hit to the front four. The ball squirted out of his hands, but the whistle had blown. He was hit in there by number 45, Eric Patton. And in the bottom of the pile is Potolsky and big Mike Kadish. And they'll mark the ball on the 35-yard line. As we watch here, it's very interesting on every play as Garrison and Ellis continue their duel. Now, Southern California has hit the middle of the line in the rapid series lately. Let's see if they go to Garrison again soon. On the 35-yard line, second down. Here's the quarterback. Potoski hit him just as he delivered the ball, but he was caught by the tight end, Charlie Young. I want to tell you, Potoski flew through the air and hit him just as he got rid of the ball, and he still completed. Unbelievable and incredible as the receivers cannot drop the ball, and Jimmy Jones of Southern California with unerring accuracy here this afternoon. That was a 24-yard pass. Down on the near side, Garrison was completely covered by Ellis that time, and Jones took a quick glance in that direction, then turned around and threw to the far side the young Mr. Young, who put on quite a catch. Garrison wide to the right side, a first down on the Notre Dame 41-yard line for Southern California. Here's Harris. He is hit at the 39 and brought down by the right side of that Notre Dame line. In their number 81, O'Malley from his linebacker spot, 75, Greg Marks. They mark it on the 40, one-yard gain, second down and nine to go. One minute, ten seconds to play, third quarter, 28 to 14, the Trojans of Southern California. Harris goes out, he's been replaced by Bill Holland. Holland, the senior from Los Angeles. Wide to the right side is Garrison, who's had quite a day. High formation and the line move, and Zeke went flying across there. The Notre Dame defensive line went charging across when an offensive lineman moved on the Southern California side of the line, so it'll be a walk-off against Southern California. Five yards, it'll be walked off against them, which will move it back to about the 45-yard line. Let's wait and see what he does with it here. It is illegal procedure against Southern California. Turned down. 
Well, the down remains the same whether you walk it off or not. Oh, now then we understand. It's offsetting penalties. That isn't what he gave, though, at the beginning. Now he he's says, uh, offsetting. That's the reason, so no play. Wide to the right side. He is, is Young going to the left side. Wide to the right side is Garrison. Back is his quarterback, Jones. He flips it in the air again, puts it up for grabs. It's intercepted by Notre Dame. The Paniak intercepted the ball. Well, I guess you can just put it in the air just so many times in a wild, blind way, and that's exactly what Jones did, and it's picked off. Swan and Garrison were the two receivers down at the Notre Dame 20, 15-yard line. And Ralph Stepaniak took a quick glance at the flight of the ball, turned, leaped between them, and picked it off, and the Irish have important, vital possession, first and ten at their own 18-yard line. Clock shows 33 seconds left to play, third period, Southern California 28, Notre Dame 14. Well, the Irish break the huddle, and here they have Dewan coming wide to the open field to the left side, and Townsend is a tight end. Double wing formation waiting for it now is Brown. That's the second interception for Notre Dame today. And to give us the Huff, Huff cracks over the left guard position to the 21-yard line, getting three. Clock running, 25 seconds. Weber is the man who made the tackle for Southern California. The ball on the 21-yard line. The Trojans lead him by 14. It's 28 to 14. Clock moving, 17 seconds. Parker comes in, replacing Darrell Dewan in the Notre Dame backfield. 12 seconds, 10 seconds. They're going to have to hustle to get the play on the way before the end of the quarter. Seven seconds to go. Parker split out to the left side. Double wing formation. Two seconds, one second. Brown is going back to play. Looks. He's in a little trouble out there. He looks. He looks. He's in trouble. He stopped on the 19-yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. And the clock runs out. That's the end of the third quarter with a score. Southern California, 28. Notre Dame, 14. Royal Globe Insurance rewards safe drivers with lower insurance premiums. That's good news. And that's not the only place where safety pays. With Royal Globe's new safe pilot program, qualified pilots get discounts on their premiums of up to 20% for single-engine aircraft. To qualify, a pilot must have a private license, an accident-free record for the past three years, a medical certificate, and the flight proficiency test. Another first in the insurance industry from Royal Globe. It's helping to make flying a bit safer and a bit less expensive too. So why not look in the yellow pages for Royal Globe Insurance? Something brand new, Royal Globe's new safe pilot program where qualified pilots get discounts on their premiums of up to 20%. Royal Globe Insurance. Worldwide shield against the unexpected. And this game here this afternoon, weather-wise, is reminiscent of the Georgia Tech game of two years ago when it became so dark as we entered the fourth period, we almost needed to light matches to see each other down there. And it is getting very dark and very cloudy again here in South Bend. Fourth quarter about to begin, 28-14, Southern California still leads. Don't say that. Woody Cochet, the pilot's on his way to pick us up. <laughs> Don't scare him off, will you? Now, back goes Brown to throw. He's in a little trouble. He runs out of it. He looks and throws one deep to Creedy, and it is batted down by Southern California's Thomas. He threw it to Creedy, but it was batted down. So that'll bring the ball back here to the 20-yard line again. It'll be fourth down, and Notre Dame will have to surrender the football. Fourth and eight from the 20. And now Hinton is going back here along with Swan in the double safety spot for Southern California, and Brian Darty is in to do the kicking for Notre Dame. With a score, Trojans 28, Notre Dame 14. Almost a full quarter playing time remaining now here at South Bend. Darty back in kick formation, standing on about the six. Gets his kick out of there, and it's a good one. Coming up field to the 38. It is taken right there, and the tackle is made on Swan immediately by Larry Parker, who made a fine play on the 37-yard line, a 41-yard kick. Well, there's one of the outstanding defensive gems of the day as Larry Parker came like a shot out of a cannon down the field from his wide position as the receiver... Swan gathered the ball, Parker hit him and nailed him immediately, dropping him in his tracks and just 
beautiful, sure, deft tackling by Parker that time. Swan to the left side, Garrison to the right side, high formation, quarterback is Ray, Ray on a give to Cunningham, and he blasts right over right tackle, gets yardage, comes all the way up to the 43-yard line with it, getting six. It'll be second down and four yards to go, O'Malley on the tackle for Notre Dame. Now going out of there is Young, he'll be replaced by Vela. That's the tight end spot. Vela's from Fresno, uh, from uh, Van Nuys, California, and Young's from Fresno. Cunningham in 19 carries today has picked up 86 yards. For a shot putter, that isn't bad. Not bad. He's a good swan diver, too, the way he's been going <laughs> over that line. Two flankers, eye formation. Waiting for it is Mike Ray, who's in there at quarterback for Southern California. Long count. Pitches it back to Harris. Harris is being chased and is hauled down by Kadish. Mike Kadish brought him down. Back on the 39-yard line, he made a dive for him and got him. Cunningham trying to sweep the right side, or Harris, and Cunningham was hurt on the play. He was trying to block a man downfield and went out injured. Holland has replaced him. Ball on the 39-yard line, it'll be third down and eight yards to go. The series originated on the th Southern California 37. Garrison to the left side, the split in, high formation. Waiting for it, quarterback, Mike Ray. Ray back to throw, gets in time, stays in the pocket. He looks, he's being chased by Popolsky, breaks the tackle of Popolsky. He's at the 45, 50, 45, and out of bounds. Would you believe Popolsky had him back there and just couldn't hold him? Van Walder slipped as he made a move to grab him, and there again, the field conditions, which is equal on both sides, but when the receiver or the offensive back knows where you're going, where they are going, it's a little tough for the defensive man to change direction, which is what Potolsky tried to do that time. Uh, Cunningham is still standing over there, still shaking up a little bit from that play uh, a moment ago. Not seriously injured, but still shaking up and sitting on the bench and resting a little bit. He's done a remarkable job today anyway. Michigan beat Minnesota 35-7. to High formation, two flankers. Waiting for it is the quarterback, and he gives it off now to Wooten, the fullback, and Holland it is, and he runs off right guard, gets down about to 38. They got their 17th first down on the 43-yard line on that run by the quarterback, and now coming back in is Charlie Young, and Vela is going out. That's a change at the tight end for Southern California. Ball is on the 37-yard line. It's second down and five yards to go for the Trojans. They're deep now in Notre Dame territory. They're leading 28 to 14, and the clock all this time is moving. 12.45 to go. High formation, two flankers. Waiting for it is Ray. Ray rolling out to right on the option, and he is hit as he reaches the 33-yard line. Hit first by Quatty, coming up from the secondary. Berserker on the tackle, and so the ball will be spotted on the 33-yard line, and that's going to be very close for a first down. It's third and about one to go for Southern California. Third and one. Coming back in is Chris Vela going out as Young to change a tight end for Southern California. Yeah, they're working on Cunningham's left shoulder on the far side of the field. Evidently, when he tried to make that block, he was either hit in the shoulder by a knee or tucked it under him as he fell. But he's sitting on the far side. They're working on his left shoulder. High formation. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Mike Ray. Ray, uh, the keeper, he got crossed up in the backfield. That was a broken play, and they dropped him on the 35-yard line. In there, Mazurka, along with Tolman and Potolsky. And number 72, Kadish. 11 minutes and 40 seconds of playing time remaining. It is fourth down, three yards to go. And the kicker is in. Well, the Irish are going to hit the football right away. 11 minutes and 29 seconds remaining to play in the game. 28-14, Southern California. Boulware back in kick formation gets his kick away. Low angling for the sidelines and finally is knocked out of bounds and finally it went across the goal line before it went out of bounds. So there's a timeout on the field with a score Southern California 28 Notre Dame 14. I love lime. In fact, the only drink I drink is a lime Ricky. I adore lime sherbet. And if anyone steals the limelight away from me, then I really get green. But you know what I love most of all? Men who wear English leather lime after shave or cologne. Of course, all my men wear English leather. But the ones who really know me wear English leather lime. They know the way to this girl's heart is through her nose. 
Then it's 28 to 14. Southern California is still with that big lead. We have 11 minutes and 16 seconds remaining to play in the game. And here in the second half, except for that one drive by Notre Dame, it has been a standoff. Uh, the passing has been good, but they have not been finding the target on either side as they had in the first half of the game. Jimmy Jones and Mike Ray have been taking turns alternating at quarterback for Southern California. Sam Cunningham still being attended to. He is the outstanding fullback for Southern Cal. Big fellow, really a tough running back with great body balance. Injured his left shoulder, and he still is sitting on the bench being attended to on the far side of the field. The Irish are going with Cliff Brown again all the way, and he's passed very well, but some of the receivers have not been able to hold the ball. All ready to go. Notre Dame ball, first and ten from their own 20-yard line. And here is the quarterback, Brown, back to throw. The rush is on. He throws the screen out here to Demony. He's at the 25. He is at the 28 and tackled on the 28-yard line. He got eight yards. Hall made the tackle for Southern California. Number 83, Hall, and the ball will be spotted on the 28-yard line. Again on the play of eight yards. A screen pass out in the right flat. Ten minutes and 55 seconds to play in the ball game. Southern California leading Notre Dame 28 to 14. Illinois. Is that right? Illinois 21, Purdue 7 the final. There goes the Rose Bowl. Wide to the right side now is Townsend. Waiting for it is the quarterback, Brown, and Brown is rolling out the left, looking for a receiver. Throws that screen out here to Parker, and Parker's in trouble at the 25 and hauled down. And Follett is the man who made the tackle. And Mike McGurr was again the man on Southern California's line, forcing on the play. He has done truly an outstanding job today. McGurr is a junior. He's 6'5", 282 pounds. A fellow with great mobility for a big man. He sort of reminds you of Greg Marks of Notre Dame. They are built very much alike, and they are both extremely agile and very quick, and he was the man who was the key to that play defensively for Southern California. Sky is getting darker here, 9.55 remaining in the contest. 28-14, Notre Dame still in the rear is by a big 14 points. Gallagher is wide to the left, Townsend wide to the right, a big third down. Here's a draw play to Parker, and Parker is hauled down as he reaches the 28-yard line. Well, let's see now. The end of that change at the 30, and they may go for it. Trailing 28 to 14 with nine and a half minutes to play. Brown is looking at Aaron Bar Segan, and they're going to go for it. Man, they have to. They're down 14. They've got to come back. They were down 21 points at halftime. Daryl Dewan comes in with obviously a call from the bench. 28-14 the score now. The clock moving at 9-15 remaining in the game. Crucial play. Fourth and one for Notre Dame. Deep in their own territory of their own 29-yard line. Well, they line him up in a straight T formation with one flanker. Townsend out to the left. The give is to the pull by Huff. Huff is at the 39-yard line in the clear, and he fell down on the momentum. So it's a first down for Notre Dame on their own 39. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. An independent agent providing Royal Globe insurance in this area is J. Edward Poole and Company. This is WQBK, Rensselaer at 1300. Van Patrick along with Bill Etherton from South Bend. That's the 11th first down. It's on the 39 of Notre Dame. The wishbone with one flanker. The pitch back to Parker following his blockers at the 45. Comes on up to the 46-yard line with it. And he's upended right there. Abanakis is the man who made the tackle for Southern California. And there was an incongruity a moment ago. Usually on a fourth and one or fourth and two, a tight money play like that, you will find only about that much gain. But Andy Huff came through a gaping breach in the Southern California line, engineered by Kondrick and by Dampier, two outstanding Notre Dame offensive linemen who simply shot out of there and blasted everybody in between. Ohio State 31, Wisconsin 6, that's the final. Brown back to throw, one step, throws over the middle, it's batted down by a lineman, almost intercepted. That was Hall who almost intercepted the ball. Brown throwing a little low for those tall ones. Here's an upset today. Final score, Georgia Tech 24, Tulane 16. Final, Ohio State 31, Wisconsin 6. End of three periods. Here's something of a surprise. Nebraska leads Oklahoma State by only 13 to nothing. Northwestern over Indiana 21 to 10. Michigan State 24, Iowa 3. Those are third period scores. Townsend out wide the left is T formation. Waiting for it is Brown. He's got a third and four. A big play again. It's Huff. He's to the 49-yard line. He may have a first down. Huff running right up the middle. Tackle was made in there by Erickson. It's a first down for Notre Dame, I believe, although they have how they call it. 
Are they going to bring the chain out? No. They're going to move, rule it a first down on the 49-yard line. Still in Notre Dame territory, first down and 10. But the time is a big factor right now. Seven minutes, 50 seconds exactly to play in this ball game at South Bend, Indiana. And Townsend is out wide to the left. They're in the wishbone formation. Waiting for it is the quarterback, Cliff Brown, the sophomore, and the pitch back to Gallagher. Gallagher's going to throw the football left-handed. Throws it to Townsend. Incomplete on the defensive man. Fell down. He overthrew him, but the defensive man fell down. There was no chance to defend. Parker fell down. New play as Bill Gallagher was throwing for Willie Townsend. The defensive man fell down. It was Thomas, who was not able to cover, and the pass was simply not, uh, not there enough for Townsend to get, and that would have been a sure six. New play. Halfback option pass. Here are some scores. Third period, Oklahoma 54, Kansas State 21. First period, Colorado 10, Missouri nothing. And again, we'll repeat, Illinois upset Purdue 21 to 7. Gatewood is back in there on the right side. Brown is back to throw. He throws. It's com incomplete to Townsend at the 40-yard line. It is now third down and 10 yards to go from the 49-yard line of Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish with the ball, trailing 14 points with seven and a half minutes to go in this ball game. Very overcast, very dark here now at South Bend. Gallagher is coming back in and going out as Parker. Notre Dame has attempted 29 passes today, completed nine for 112 yards. Well, twice now, Cliff Brown has laid it into Willie Townsend, and he hasn't been able to get the ball or hold on to it, and here's a big play now, third and ten, midfield. Here's Brown going back to throw again, stays in that pocket. He throws, and it is incomplete, knocked right out of the hands of Townsend by Thomas. And Thomas was about ready to go some 50 yards for another six points for Southern California. And he had a chance at that clothesline again with which Southern California had scored earlier, and it was Dyer who had picked it off in the first period of our game today. That time Thomas almost had it because it was right in his hand. So now it's a big fourth down for Notre Dame as they will have to surrender possession of the football. 7.23 left, Southern California still leading 28-14. to 14. Swan is back there with Hinton in the double safety spot. Doherty is the kicker, and he boots it high. Fair catch is called for on the 10. So there's a timeout on the field with a score. Southern California 28, Notre Dame 14. The pride of the Fighting Irish results from their outstanding performance on the gridiron. Now thousands of travelers like yourself have built a reputation for pride based on outstanding performance. Ramada Inn Motor Hotels. Ramada's pride grown from providing you with first-class accommodations and excellent food at reasonable prices. Ramada calls it luxury for less. Call your nearest Ramada Inn for immediate nationwide reservations. Ramada Inn, built on pride, serves you better with luxury for less. Well, a band, of course, the Notre Dame fans feel badly about the fact that twice Cliff Brown has laid the ball in or near Willie Townsend's hands, and he hasn't caught it. But, of course, the individual who feels perhaps the very, very, very worst about that is Willie Townsend himself, a young man who certainly has been an excellent performer for Aero Parsegian and the Irish, and who many times has come up with incredible catches. And yet twice here in the recent drive, he's been unable to hold on to the ball. Southern California... Leading by 28 to 14, and they now have put Sam Cunningham back in at fullback for the Trojans. So Cunningham has returned at fullback for Southern California. Well, I'd like to mention again, if the folks uh, wondering about Al Wester today, that his wife is recovering from a very serious operation in New Orleans, and that's why he is not with us on the broadcast. Here's the give now to Cunningham, and he blasts through that left guard, brings it up to about the 14-yard line, getting four on the play. And so... Seven minutes, five seconds to go with the ball on the 14-yard line. It'll be second down. Six yards to go for Southern California. You'd like to play ball control now with a 28 to 14. Cunningham in 20 carries today has gained 90 yards. Swan to the left side. Garrison is to the right side. I formation. And uh, here's the give from Jones to that fullback again, trying the middle. He gets just about a yard to the 16, Cunningham, and he's all down. Nebraska 34, Oklahoma State nothing in the fourth quarter. Well, a year ago at Los Angeles, it was 38-28 Southern California. In 69, it was a tie. 
14-14. It was 21-21 in 1968. Hardly anyone had prophesied a four touchdowns to two battle here because of the great defensive strengths of each team. But here we are. Morgan is in there replacing uh, Garrison. And the quarterback throws on the keeper, rolling out the right, is dumped on the 16-yard line by Walt Kotowski. Fourth down coming up now and five yards to go, but the clock moving with 5.55 to go. 5.55 to go, that's it. Cloudy will drop back in the safety spot. Roll wears in to do the kicking for Southern California. Clock is continuing to move, and it's important. 5.40 to go. Southern California on the verge of a big upset here at South Bend, Indiana today, 28 to 14. Roll wear is back there. Kick formation. Here's the snap. He gets his kick away. And it's a high spiral coming down to Crotty on the 44-yard line. Crotty is hit right at the 44 and is going to be knocked down. 40-yard kick on the part of Bull Ware. Good high spiral and no chance for a run back. There's a timeout on the field with the score. Southern California 28, Notre Dame 14. Most deodorants gradually run down and end up being ineffective. English Leather Plus deodorant is different. Because Plus is the triple-time release deodorant. First, Plus starts out keeping you extra dry and smelling great. Then, hours later, Plus releases another booster of deodorant and a fresh booster of English leather fragrance. Automatically, you have renewed protection. Wake up to English Leather Plus. Brown, back to throw, hits Creedy over the middle at the 40-yard line. He's tackled immediately by Faith. First down, Notre Dame on the 40-yard line of Southern California. Brown went back, got good protection, hit Creedy right over the middle. First and ten to go, Notre Dame, back in the huddle again, 16 yards, gained on that play, they break out of it quickly, they send Gallagher out wide to the right side, that's a 13th first down, Townsend is deployed to the left in a double wing formation, in the slot is Darrell Dewan, and back goes Brown, rolling out to the right, being chased, he's going to have to run with the ball, he's down to the 40, he's down to the 35, he's down to the 30, he's brought down on the 29 yard line, it'll be another first down, a very close to it, Thomas made the tackle. There's a fine ad lib performance by Cliff Brown as he was forced out of the pocket. Pounded by Southern California's Thomas and by Mertarian, and yet he came up, looked downfield, saw his receivers covered, took the ball, put it under his arm, and ran it down to the Southern California 29-yard line. Fine run by Cliff Brown. First and 10. Waiting for it now in a pro set with two receivers on the left side is Brown on the draw to Huff. Huff is down to the 25-yard line. He got four on the play. And he was brought down by Anthony, the middle backer. And the clock is moving. Four and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Darrell Dewan coming into the backfield. 28 to 14, the score. Southern California leading. Ball on the 25-yard line. Parker is out. And Gallagher and Dewan are in there, along with Andy Huff. And the quarterback is Brown. Brown is going back to throw again. He looks downfield. He throws. It's completed out there to Creedy. And Creedy is down to the 10. And Creedy is all the way down. First down and goal to goal for Notre Dame on the seven-yard line of Southern California. And the Irish battling not only the Trojans, but the clock with four minutes and two seconds of playing time remaining. And they got to move it in a hurry now to try to get back in this ball game. They have it on the seven. They have it first down and goal to goal. Back in the huddle. They come out of it over the ball as Novikov with Kondrick and Tomarico and Dan Beer and Humbert. They send Townsend out wide to the right side. They're in a T formation. Greeny is on the left side. And there is a Notre Dame lineman moving on the left side. Greeny made a fantastic catch a moment ago. The tight end going straight down, going toward the outside. He got the pass, and he ran right over Dyer before he was hit from the blind side by Grant to carry it down to the seven. Here's a walk-off back to the 12-yard line now for illegal motion. Greeny just a little bit ahead of the signal call. 3.48 remaining to play in the game. 28-14, Southern California, and the Irish driving. They're back on the 12-yard line now with first down and goal to go. A double wing formation, and Brown will probably put it in the air. He rolls out to the right, looks for a receiver. He's going to run with the ball. He's down to the 10, and he's tripped up. Down on about the 7-yard line or 8-yard line, he was tripped up. And Anthony is the man who tripped him up. So it will be second down and 8 yards to go for Notre Dame. Ball down on the 8-yard line of Southern California. The clock is moving. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Jaskowski, who scored a touchdown earlier, replaces Andy Huff. Notre Dame in the huddle. 
They've got to remember the time situation. That clock is moving. Three minutes, seven seconds. Southern California leading 28 to 14. Notre Dame down on the eight. Waiting for it is Brown, that wishbone formation. Brown takes it down, gives it up, fakes it, rolls out to the right. He's going to run. He's down to the five, and he's hauled out of bounds, stopping the clock on the five-yard line. Erickson ran him out of bounds. Two minutes and 52 seconds, that's all. Cliff Brown faked beautifully that time and came down the near sidelines, and he came up with a real sleight-of-hand demonstration. But following the play very well again was John Grant and the middle linebacker and defensive captain Anthony, who is taking up a lot of room in the middle of that line. There is a timeout now with the score. Southern California, 28. The University of Notre Dame, 14. A theft, a loss, an accident, a fire, and explosion are just the sudden breakdown of machinery. All these things can be summed up in one word, unexpected. Protection against such calamities in virtually every form of business and personal insurance can be summed up in two words, Royal Globe. Your local Royal Globe agent provides such business and personal coverage. Royal Globe Insurance, worldwide shield against the unexpected. Well, it's 28 to 14, Southern California leading the Irish. They have led all the way, two minutes, 48 seconds remaining to play in this contest, and Notre Dame has the ball down at the Southern California five-yard line, third and goal to goal. Cliff Brown has been on the sidelines conferring with Tom Pagna and with Errol Parsigian, and now back in the field comes Andy Huff. John Chiskowski comes back out. Bill, here's one for you. Navy has just beaten Duke 15 to 14, and that's the team Duke that beat Stanford. And they'll be here next week to play Notre Dame. The Navy beat Duke today. 28 to 14, Southern California leading the ball on the five. It's third down and goal, and the give is Brown kept it himself. Fumbled the ball, and I believe that Southern California may have the football. They do on the five as Brown fumbled the ball. The young sophomore quarterback fumbled on the five, and Southern California recovered on the four. Well, with 2.39 remaining in the game, it is a well-nigh impossible task of Notre Dame to come back. They are down and in arrears by 14 points. Man, you mentioned that score in that Navy-Duke game. After seeing a two-record, two-and-four record team today put on this demonstration, I'm a believer that on any given day. Wide to the left, you're right, Morgan. And here's the quarterback sneak. About two yards, Jones is back in there at quarterback. Move that ball from the four up to about the six. So make it second down and eight yards to go. The clock moving now. Of course, Southern California's in no hurry now. They got a 14-point lead, 28 to 14. They're just trying to run it out here now at Notre Dame Stadium. The Irish with a heartbreaking fumble a moment ago as they have a good big drive going down at the five-yard line and the fumble giving the ball to Southern California. There they are again, moving across that line. Flags are down all over the place. Two minutes, six seconds to go. That's all. Illegal procedure against Southern California. So it'll be a walk-off against Southern California. That'll move the ball back to about the three-yard line. Illegal procedure. 28 to 14, Southern California leading Notre Dame. This Trojan ball club of John McCray has really been fired up out here today. Erickson, black wide to the left. Swan is split out to the right. And the give now is to Harris. Harris gets it to the five, and that's about it. He is hit right at the five-yard line. Mike Zeke is in on the tackle for Notre Dame. So mark the ball on the five. And taking as much time as possible, and now we have Notre Dame asking for a timeout. Timeout, Notre Dame. Notre Dame trailing by 14 to 28 in Southern California with Jimmy Jones putting on a fantastic display today, aided by his alternate quarterback, Mike Ray. Southern California led at halftime by 28 to 7, so the Irish have held them in the second half of the game, but have managed to come back only seven points worth. Next week, of course, it will be Navy here in South Bend against Notre Dame. And as Dan mentioned a moment ago, Navy upsetting Duke today. How about that one for you? So Southern California starting off here today, fire to the skies, ahead by 7-0, then a 7-7 tie, then Southern California reeling off 14-7, 21-7, and 28-7. The Irish scoring in the second half to make it now 28-14 with just 1.45 remaining in the contest. 
third down, nine yards to go for Southern California. Swan split out to the left side. High formation, Jones with the ball, hands it off to his fullback. That's Holland. Holland running off right guard. He gets to about the seven or eight yard line. A timeout called again by Notre Dame to stop that clock with a minute, 38 seconds of playing time remaining. Had Notre Dame been able to go in, they would have had around uh, two minutes or so to give it another whack. But, of course, the fumble, that, that old bugaboo, that gets you. Down on the five-yard line, they lost it to Southern California. And the Trojans, of course, now are just trying to run it out. So the other interesting scores this afternoon, in addition to Navy upsetting Duke, uh, Illinois over Purdue. Man, that was quite a surprise. Sure was. And you know, really, in this ball game, you should never really call it an upset between Notre Dame and Southern California. We've seen it happen so often that not since 1966 has Notre Dame been able to beat Southern California. The kicker is in with a fourth down. Bull wears back there, and he booms it out. Crotty waits for it, takes it on the 40, goes to the 35, gets the block. He's down to the 30, and stop right there on the 30-yard line. Tackle was made by Brown, the center of Southern California. 42 yards on the kick. Notre Dame in business now on the 31-yard line of Southern California, but they only have a minute and 29 seconds in which to do something with it. Brown is the quarterback. He's gone all the way today. Well, the skies look dark enough to shake some thunder down, but they're going to need an awful lot, Van, with only a minute and 29 seconds remaining of the game. They'll need some miracles here. Townsend is wide to the right side. Waiting for it now is Brown. He rolls out to left. Now he looks. He throws to the end zone to Townsend and just out of his reach. He had his man Parker beat all right, but he couldn't hit him. Stops the clock. Minutes, 23 seconds left. Back to the 31. Second and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. The Navy will be here next Saturday afternoon. We'll be on the air 10 minutes after the hour. Eastern Daylight Time at 10 minutes after 2. Ball on the 31-yard line. It will be second and 10 with a minute and 23 seconds. Parker is in there, split out to the left side. Townsend to the right. It's a double wing formation. Huff is the running back. Brown is back to throw again. Sets up, looks downfield. Throws one. It's completed out there to Gallagher at the 15, and Gallagher got out of bounds to stop that clock. He stops the clock with the ball on the 16-yard line where he was knocked out of bounds. It'll be first and 10 now for Notre Dame on the 16-yard line of Southern California. First and 10. Darrell Dewan is coming in the backfield. Parker set out to the left side. Townsend out to the right side in the double wing formation. Brown is going back to throw. He looks. He's in trouble. Dumps one over the middle. He's belted. Number 83, Hall. Willie Hall. The linebacker on the left side. Bumped him down. One minute, 11 seconds of playing time remaining. And it will be second down at 10. Bill? And that's one of the few times this afternoon that Cliff Brown's protection has actually broken down. That Southern California has actually had anybody in on him. Willie Hall with a fine play and coming in and forcing on Brown and not giving him any opportunity at all to look around and try to spot a receiver. Double wing. Up the setback. Brown rolling to the left. Stops, looks, throws. Creedy in his hands and out. At the five-yard line, he was covered by two men. Primarily, Fate, number 47, the rover back of Southern California, who's been doing a good job of roving around back there today. Third and ten. Clock stop, minute six. And prophetically, his name is Fate. I knew he'd get around to that before the afternoon was over. <laughs> Cliff Brown threw a bullet that time. He rifled that throw into Craney, but as Van described a moment ago, there were several white shirts around, and it was incomplete. We have a minute, six seconds remaining in the game. Southern California, 28, Notre Dame, 14. And the skies are getting darker, and the drizzle is starting to come down again. Brown taking it. He goes back to throw again. Gets some protection. In trouble. Going to be brought down. Back on the 26-yard line. You can just hold that football so long. And Willie Hall in there again to knock him down. Right on the 25-yard line. So it'll be fourth down and 18 yards to go. Man, Brown had it for almost three seconds that time. And that's, that's quite long to expect the blockers to keep those defensive linemen out from in front of you. And that's why they came pouring through finally. Double wing, back goes Brown again. Remember, it's fourth down. He looks, 
He throws. Incomplete. Intended for Darrell Dewan on the 10. Southern California will take over. First and 10 with only 26 seconds of playing time remaining. And Southern California has engineered an upset. They are beating Notre Dame 28 to 14 with 26 seconds to play. A couple of other finals there. Michigan 35, Minnesota 7, Tennessee over Mississippi State 10 to 7. Oklahoma ran over Kansas State 54 to 21 today. And Alabama over to Houston 34 to 20. 25 yard line, first and 10, Southern California. Garrison out wide to the left. Quarterback sneak. Jones just falls on the ball. They want to run out the time. 21 seconds. The clock is moving. And it's going to be in the books. Another victory for Southern California over Notre Dame. That strange jinx that hovers over the fighting Irish. 28, 14, 7 seconds. They'll never get another play on the way. The clock will run out. 4, 3, 2, 1. There is the gun. And the final score is Southern California, 28, Notre Dame, 14, in just a moment we'll present the wrap-up of today's game.